better rip off the old band-aid. I'm sorry to say that you're dead. I was throwing some lightning around and accidentally dropped a bolt on you. The guilt is really tearing me up. It was a freak accident. Hasn't happened to me in weeks. Gotcha. What was it again? Mochizuki? Toya. It's Mochizuki Toya. Mochizuki Toya, of course. I have to say, you're taking the news surprisingly well. I was bracing myself to get chewed out a little. Well, honestly, this doesn't quite feel real to me yet. I'm still half expecting to wake up from a dream. But if I am dead, then that's that. No point complaining. That's a mature perspective. Still, I was hoping to live a bit past 15. So, is this the part where you judge me, or...? No, I'm resurrecting you. You can do that? Yes, but I'm not allowed to send you back to the world you were born in, so I found another for you. It's kind of like yours. The air won't choke you. That's the key. Oh. Sounds good to me. Huh? It does? Looks to me like you're doing all you can. I'm just glad I get to live again at all. Granddad always... If he's seeing this... You've a very kind heart. Hmm. Tell me, is there anything else I can do to make up for all the trouble? Anything? Hmm. Anything you'd like in your next life? Cool. Um... Well... Could you make it possible for me to keep on using this guy? Your smartphone? Uh, that's kind of a dumb idea, isn't it? I'd have no way to keep it charged there. Actually, that won't be a problem. You should be able to recharge the battery with magic. Say what? You mean you're sending me to a world that has actual magic? Oh yeah, it's got fireballs, lizardmen, the works. I'll endow you with a natural talent for using magic as well. Still though, are you sure there's nothing else you'd like? Yeah, thanks a million. Oh, I did want to ask you one thing. If I were to bring a smartphone from my world, would I be able to call people from it? Oh, no, I can't let you communicate directly. You'll be able to watch or read anything you'd like, though. Also, I'll set things up so you can call me if ever you need to. <laughs> I understand. Let's go with that, then. <laughs> so this is my... Guess I'll follow this road. It should lead to something eventually. <laughs> What's up? Oh, good. I got through. Glad you arrived in one piece. Yeah, me too. I forgot to mention something about your phone. I changed your map and navigation to match the world you're in now. Try using it. Thanks for letting me know. That'll be a big help. I was just about to pick a random direction. Yeah, I don't do that. No offense, but I'd rather not see you again anytime soon. Good luck. I'm out. I really have God's phone number. If I reach a city, what am I supposed to do there? Should have asked God to let me convert my money somehow. Hey, you there! Hi, how's it going? Hey, we speak the same language, that's cool. Wherever did you obtain such marvelous apparel from? You must allow me to purchase it from you! I'll pay you well, you won't regret it! set of clothes to replace yours. Uh, thanks. I can't read the writing. Sir, it's nice to see you again. Mm -hmm. Get my friend fitted here for a new outfit, will you? Something nice. Looks but like not... he owns this shop. Hey, kid! Uh, <gasps> I'll pay you double if you sell me those clothes as well. Do I have a choice? If you find any other clothes like those, stop by again, please. Sure. By the way, this town wouldn't happen to have an inn with rooms for rent, would it? I was hoping to find a place to rest for the night before it gets dark out. I know just the place. Walk down till you reach the town square and take a right at the main road. There's a fine inn called the Silver Moon. You can't miss it. Thanks for everything. <laughs> the Silver Moon Inn. Look at that. 
The shop's called the Fashion King Zonic. <laughs> That was if the goods were in better shape. This antler has a scratch on it. Here. That's just one silver coin! A single scratch doesn't make the thing ten times less valuable! Oh, calm down. Forget it. I don't want your money. Just give the antler back to me. Don't misread us, sweetheart. We aren't negotiating. Sorry to interrupt, but uh, could you spare a moment? Who are you? And what do you want? Don't misread me. My business is actually with the ladies here. What business? I was hoping you might be willing to part with that shiny antler for one gold. Heck yeah! Sweet. <laughs> the hell's wrong with you? I think I'm allowed to destroy my own property. I'm giving a good boost to your stamina, reflexes, memory, and so forth. Long as nothing too crazy happens, you'll be pretty tough to kill now. It's like he's moving in slow motion. <laughs> Here, the gold I owe you. You sure? I appreciate the gesture, but... I'm not about to break your stuff without paying you back. Then I'd be worse than those guys. I'd be so easy to beat, I could have saved it. Alright, you convinced me. Thanks for the assist, stranger. My name's Elise Silueska, and this is my younger twin. Her name's Lynn Silueska. Thank you for helping us, sir. Hi, I'm Mochizuki Toya. Mochizuki? That's an exotic name. Well, it's my family name. You can just call me Toya. Oh, so you introduce yourself backwards. Bet you're from Ishin. Ishin? Uh, well... What are you doing this far from home? Yeah, uh... For the time being, I'm just trying to find the Silver Moon Inn. I haven't planned any further than that. The Silver Moon? The two of us are actually staying at that inn. Huh? Here it is. Hi there. Do you think I could book a room through the next month? Sure thing. You finished checking in? Yeah, all set. So sorry for the wait. Uh, is this a friend of yours? He helped us out just a moment ago. My... Found yourself a man already, have you? Shut your gossip mouth, Mika! <laughs> the men in that alley had commissioned us to bring them the crystal deer antler. They seemed a bit dodgy, but work is work, I figured. Well, lesson learned. I was against taking that job from the beginning, remember? Yeah, I guess we better quit freelancing and start taking jobs from the guild now. Think there's still time to register today? No, they'll be closed by now. But let's go tomorrow. Guild jobs are much safer. Guild? Sounds like a temp agency. Um, not to be a bother, but could I come with you? I feel like I should be looking for work myself. Of course. Meet you here tomorrow. We can show you the way to thank you for earlier. Right? Yeah. Thanks a bunch. <laughs> Breaking up? I wonder if I'll always care about news from home. This stuff looks like chipperish. I need to find a tutor as soon as possible. Hey, what do you think of this one? Uh, Doesn't seem terribly difficult, and it has a good reward. <laughs> Yeah, it looks promising. Anything look good on your side, Toya? Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe. To be perfectly honest, I've got no clue. Can you tell us you're illiterate? Uh, this job is to kill some horned wolves out east. And the reward will be 18 copper. That could be 6 copper for each of us. Yeah, you seem really strong from what I've seen. We'd be happy to form a party with you. Please. Of course. Come on, let's make it official. Uh, What's the matter? I don't have any weapons. Huh? Thanks again. Cool. Is everyone ready to hunt some wolves? Yep. 
Linz here likes to fight from range, but I prefer close combat. Judging from your weapon, I guess you'll fight with me. Uh, sure. Say, that's an Ishin sword, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's a nice one. Try not to lose it. Your guild card either. It's a serious pain to get those replaced. than I thought they'd be. By the way, uh, I have a favor to ask you two. Uh, what is it? Well, do you think you could teach me how to read and write? It's a rather inconvenient skill not to have. Especially when you can't tell what job you're taking. Uh, well, if you want to learn, then Linz is the uh, one to have teach you. She reads for fun sometimes. It's a genius thing. What? That's not a try. That'd be great. Thanks a million. And, uh, while I'm at it, guess I might as well ask, would you mind teaching me magic as well? I'd really like to take a crack at it. Huh? That's a difficult question to answer. Do you have an aptitude? Mm, aptitude? The type of magic someone can use is dictated by the aptitudes that they're born with. Those who are born without any aptitudes can't use magic, no matter how hard they try. Interesting. I mean, I've never done anything magical before, but I recently talked to someone who seemed very confident that I'd be able to use magic sometime soon. And who might that be? Uh, someone old and strong. <clears throat> so, uh, what would I need to do to figure out what my aptitudes might be? These are called spell stones. They're used to store, release, and amplify magical energy. How to do this? I guess water would be the easiest to demonstrate. Come forth, water. Oh. Now this is what you would call active magic. Watch. I make a command, channel energy into the stone, and it creates this water in response. And by the way, come forth, water. If you don't have an aptitude for water magic... Wait, so you can't use it even though your twin can? It's not something I'm proud of, so don't be so direct. On the other hand, Elise can use fortification magic, but I never could. It's not that either one of us is more magical, it's just that we have different aptitudes. Which is probably a big part of why we work so well together. Everyone alive possesses magical energy, but aptitudes are what allow us to channel that energy into spells. So if I try to make water like you did, we'll know if I have that aptitude? That's right. You just need to hold the spell stone in your hand, focus your mind, and say, Come forth, water! Come forth, water. Uh, and you had a few four stones? Yeah, seven total, but maybe we should go outside first. <laughs> Come forth, fire. Come forth, earth. Light! Come forth, Dark! What? Something wrong? What the heck are you? This is the first... I have aptitudes for three of them. And that's generally considered pretty rare. Uh, but you can uh, use them all. <laughs> that's incredible! Uh, uh, what's that last stone for? 
The seventh stone is used to channel null magic. Null magic is unique, so there isn't any single incantation for it. Huh, so then how do you activate it? That depends on whose magic it is and what it's doing. Elise just has to say the word boost to use hers. I know of a similar strength enhancing spell called Power Rise. There are also spells like Gate, which lets the user teleport. That one's extra rare. Wow. I can't even start on how useful that spell would be. I'd prefer my boost any day. Thanks to that single spell, every man who's ever underestimated me because I'm just a girl has paid for it. That explains why you're so tough. That is crazy useful. <laughs> no doubt. So how do you figure out what kind of null magic you can use? Do you just try everything? At some point, the name of the spell just comes to you. Yeah, that's right. Null magic is also known as personal magic because it's very rare for any two people to be able to use the same spell. So even if I can use null magic, I won't be able to tell for a good while. No. Hmm? We can figure out if you have the aptitude at least. Just pick up the stone and try casting something. Even if the spell doesn't actually work, like it'll glow or shudder a bit. Why don't you try casting that teleport spell? Just say the word gate. Yeah, sounds good to me. Gate. Huh? No way. Did it work? Looks like it. Awesome. <laughs> it's the forest where we fought those wolves. Specifically, the gate spell will allow the caster to travel to places they've been before. Wonder why it took us here. I guess this place was on your mind when you cast it. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't believe that you can use every element. That's a little more than unusual. And with no magic, you're like the most versatile magic user ever. Wow, Toya, you're amazing. I can only do this stuff because God felt bad for me. It's kind of weird getting praised for it. Hey, uh, sorry to interrupt uh, your fun, but do you have a second to spare? Hey, Mika, what's going on? My friend Ayer here needs some advice. She's an employee at that cafe down the street called Parent. I'm hoping to expand the menu. Yes. Or maybe you tasted something exotic in your travels that she could try and steal. Cool foods? Huh, not really. Nothing comes to mind at the moment. What's the food like in Ishin, Toya? Anything that'd be good for a cafe? If you had any suggestions, I'd love to hear them. I don't know. What kind of food were you looking for? Well, we're best known for serving a lot of sweets and the like. Nothing too heavy. I'd love to come up with a dessert that isn't just another cake. I'm sure I've had some weird desserts. Uh, all I could come up with are crepes and ice cream. Hold on. Frozen cream? Well, it's not totally frozen. You serve it kind of soft. How strange. I guess ice cream isn't a thing here. Uh, what's that? Uh, it's a magical item that helps me learn things. Sorry for the rude request, but I'd be grateful if you didn't ask me too much about it. Mm. Excuse me. Could you bring out a piece of paper and write down what I'm about to say? Sure. <laughs> so tasty! Three eggs, 200 milliliters of heavy cream, and between the food ingredients, ingredients are the same here. Good. Oh, right. Hey, Lens, can you make ice with magic? Yeah. Sweet. What do we do next? This is fun! treat in my country. Think you might want it for your cafe? Yes, thank you for sharing it. A treat like this could make our cafe famous. I'll have to try making it again. I should learn the recipe too. Between this and that device of yours, you keep getting weirder. I'm curious about it too. It's a secret, but I'm glad I got to use it to repay you a little bit. Repay us? For what? For teaching me how to use magic and then reincarnated me in this mysterious new world. It's a world of fantasy, home to strange magic and mystical creatures. Luckily, God gave me a lot of cool new powers for this life, and he let me keep my smartphone. 
Guess we should find an inn for the night. We're still a good distance from the royal capital. I wonder, was this letter delivery really the best quest we could have taken today? If we had gone after that mega slime instead, we could already be back home. No way! Why not? Because slimes are squishy and wet and flabby and moist and I hate them! It's instinctive! Mm -hmm. And worst of all, some slime can melt people's clothes off! I'm not risking it! <laughs> yeah, that's understandable. Let's see before we look for an inn. I sure hope we can find a place like the Silver Moon. Wait, shouldn't we just use my gate spell to go back there tonight? It'd be cheaper and we wouldn't have to waste time looking around. Of course not! Huh? If you're in a new place, you should want to look around. Exploration is the best part of questing. An adventurer should know this. Mm -hmm. Hey, hold it! That's a samurai. What's that mean? Hey, girl! I hear you did a real number on some of my buddies! Oh, so you're friends with the drunks that tried to spar with me earlier. In that case, you should thank me. I took them to the guards before they could hurt themselves. Shut up! Let's get her! <laughs> Technique. Looks like jujitsu. My oldest nemesis strikes again. Hold on, why'd she stop moving? Look out, miss! Behind you! Come forth, Sand! Obstructing dust storm! Blinding Sand! I guess you're from Isha. Indeed. I hail from the Ishin city of Oedo. Oedo? That's an old name for Tokyo. My name is Mochizuki, so call me Toya. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you, Toya. Are you from Ishin as well? Uh, no. I'm just from a country that's very similar. Huh? Oh, yeah. I let them think I was from Ishin. So, about the fight, I saw you falter a bit. What happened? Well... This is rather embarrassing, but I misplaced my traveling funds on the way here, so I... <laughs> I shall gladly partake! Oh. oh, cool! So you traveled here to improve on your martial arts. Interesting. My family has produced generations of great warriors, and I aim to be one of them, which means practicing everywhere. <sighs> that makes sense to me. Someday, I shall become a swordsman on par with my father and older brother. She'll lead us to bankruptcy. Oh, yeah. Where exactly were you planning to head after this? Well, for now, I'm planning to head for the royal capital. It seems like a good place to put my strength to the test. Oh. How fortunate. We're actually on our way to the capital as well. Say, would you like to travel with us? You mean it? I'd love that! I mean, after the kindness, rude of me to refuse your good company! You'll find me an honorable comrade and a capable warrior! You wouldn't mind if she joined us, would you? Huh? Oh, the more the merrier, I guess. It's settled then. We really might go broke, though. Where did you learn to handle horses, Yae? The equestrian arts were part of my earliest training. It'll be nice to have a third set of hands. It was kind of difficult with just me and Linz. Yep, I am useless. Aw, oh, no you're not. Toya here is a very talented mage. He's learning lots of spells. And not just elemental stuff. He can also use a whole lot of Nell magic. You learned her boost spell, right? So far, it seems like you can use any spell out there as long as you know its name. And what its effect is, I assume. Good grief. When someone's that all-powerful, it's just exasperating. <laughs> so, uh, I'm a little confused. Just how many types of null magic are there? Lots. It's mostly personal magic, so the theory is that there are as many spells as there are users. That's a lot to try and learn. 
You're right. And not many people have tried it. So tomes like that one are rare. Some null spells have only ever had one user. Most haven't been seen in years. The people that do. Yeah, I can certainly understand why most people wouldn't bother learning spells they'll never be able to use. There's a spell that curls hair into rolls. A spell that makes dogs super friendly. Even a spell that makes tea stems stand. There's lots, but the majority are useless. Uh, well, you never know when one might be useful. So you might as well learn as many as you can, right? God did boost my memory, but how much? I might as well try to memorize an encyclopedia. Sheesh. A, a spell that draws distant objects to your hand. Huh. That sounds useful. Why don't you see if you can use it? A poor That's weird. Wonder why it didn't work. Well, what did you try to pick up with it? Hmm. I wanted to see how Yai would react if she suddenly lost a katana. Maybe her katana is too heavy of a target. Maybe so. It does say small objects, and that I should picture it more carefully. Abhorrence. Ah! Wait, what happened? What did you try to take this time? Just this. It's the ribbon that Yai ties her hair with. The spell does work. That could be terrifying. Terrifying? You could pick people's pockets all day with that spell. Even if someone felt it disappear, they'd have no way of knowing you took it. Yeah, fair point. That would be scary when you think of it. I could take all the money, gems, and jewelry a guy could want if I felt like it. Are you planning to try it? You know stealing's wrong, right? Well, calm down! I would never! That said, I wonder if I could pull off someone's garments with a spell like this. Ah! Relax, I was joking. Um... Get my ribbon back, my hair's all over the place. <laughs> Here's a spell that can temporarily reduce friction in a small area. It's called Slip. Huh. Most of this no magic seems like it'd only be useful in a few specific <sighs> scenarios. Whoa. Long sex. What did that do? I can sense things at a distance now. Mostly seems to be affecting my sight and hearing. Another choice tool for a pervert. No way! I wouldn't dare! Uh, it works on smell, too? What is that? Iron? No, wait, it's blood! <laughs> it's straight ahead! You're safe. I'm on it. Hey, slip! You've been quite the nuisance. <laughs> you saved our lives back there. Thank you. Sure. Was anyone hurt badly? Seven of my comrades were slain. If only we'd reacted a little sooner, we could have... Can't remove it. If I were to heal him as he is, it would 
could extend his suffering at best. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, my lady. I fear I must bid you farewell. I'm grateful for every moment I spent with you. Please, stop! We can't talk, okay? So, Lens, you could be healed if the arrow wasn't there, right? Well, yeah, but I can't. All right, then. Upwards. Whoa! I forgot you had that spell. You're healed. Disappearing. Huh? Liam! You're okay? Yay! Thank God. That was amazing, Toya. You have our gratitude, kind adventurers. Not only did you risk your own lives to save us from danger, you brought Liam back from the brink of death. Forgive the delayed introduction. My name is Liam, and I am honored to call myself a butler in service to good Duke Hortalinda. And the young lady before you? She is the Duke's own daughter, Lady Sushi Arena Ortolinda. Forgive my dear butler for being so formal. Pleased to meet you. Yeah. Uh, what you doing? Take a knee. When you meet the daughter of a duke, you're supposed to hit the ground. You know what a duke is, right? Uh, noble? Duke is the highest rank a noble can have. In order to be given the title, you must share blood with the king. The king? <gasps> Indeed! Not to brag or anything, but my father, Duke Alfred Ernest Ortolain, is actually the younger brother of His Royal Highness. In that case, I guess you'd be the king's niece. Sushi, huh? Should I call you Lady Sushi, then? Sue so will suffice! This, and all of that aside, I would hardly talk down to you when I owe you my life! Okay, so what's a royal doing out here anyway? I was on my way back to the royal capital after visiting my grandmother. And then that mage attacked you. Do you think he's just a bandit? That seems unlikely, right? I had a little talk with him, and he told me he was hired. The client never gave his name, though. I see. That's a shame. You can still talk without teeth, right? Please, miss, I've told you everything! You need our help? Yes, I think we do. Lady Ortolind has been targeted, and we lack the means to protect her. We owe you much already, but I must implore you to escort us to the capital. You would be rewarded, of course. An escort job. Let's go for it. We were headed to the capital anyway. We shouldn't just leave them. I don't imagine they would slow us down too much. I'm up for it. We'll make sure that you get to the capital. Very well, then. Let us be on our way. <laughs>
quite magic, right? Of course. The true damage to her body was healed, but it did nothing for her blindness. That, it seems, was more of an after effect. <laughs> if only my grandfather were alive. My wife's father, Sue's grandfather, wielded a very special healing spell, which enabled him to return the body to its natural state. The purpose of Sue's last journey was to learn as much as she could about it. I hoped against hope that she might be able to learn that spell. I'm sorry, Father, I couldn't. We'll just have to find a healer and teach it to them. <laughs> Sue, your grandfather's healing was null magic, I'm afraid. If it wasn't passed to you, then no one else has it. At this point, our best hope is to find someone with a similar ability. <laughs> to my daughter's defense and for seeing I can give uh, now how much inside that pouch you'll find 40 platinum coins uh, so is platinum a good thing it's the denomination above gold each coin is worth 10 gold ones wait just how much would 40 platinum be worth and today's final jackpot is 40 million yen thanks but we couldn't possibly if it's truly your wish to become career adventurers, you'll want equipment that can keep you alive. And for that, you'll need money. Okay. These medals bear my crest. They'll allow you to pass through any city checkpoint, which means you'll have access to the noble districts. Furthermore, they show that you're under the Dukey's protection. to our place in Reflet Village now. What about you? Yes, well, I've been considering. And... Uh, uh, wait, no, I didn't mean it in that manner. Yeah? Then in what way did you mean it? Uh, 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 although this journey was brief, I think I understand what kind of person you are. You possess great power, yet you act with humility. And you constantly strive to help your fellow man. To be blunt, you've impressed me. I am in training, body and spirit. And to that end, I wish to stay at your side. Uh, should I let her? Of course you should. Come back to Reflet with us, Yai. If you join the guild there, then we can all start doing missions as a team. Mm -hmm. That sound good to you? I would be honored. Good. It would be a shame for us to part ways just as we're getting to know you better. Welcome to the team for real this time. Thank you for having me. I might not deserve these powers. Anyway, why don't we get some shopping in? A fine idea. Mm. Hey, I didn't notice anyone who looked like that in Reflet. Is there a name for that race? They're called demi-humans. Those are beast men you're looking at, but we use that word to describe elves, dwarves, and fairies as well. You don't say. This world is more different than I thought. Hey, Toya? Uh, what's going on with that girl? 
happy to help. See you around. Thanks so much! Now then, there's still time to go shopping. It might be difficult to go everywhere as a group. Let's split up for a bit and meet back at the end. Sounds good. I have no objections. Sure. I wonder if he was mugged in some dark alley. That's the only excuse I'll take. I'm sure he just lost track of time. Oh, there's the delinquent. Hey, you're late! Yeah, sorry! I lost track of time. Dang, it's 5.25 already. That device keeps track of time for you? Hmm. Yeah, smartphone's like a no magic multi-tool. I see you've equipped yourself with a rather stylish coat. Huh? Oh, thank you. It's enchanted to make me resistant to any magic that I have an affinity for. The downside would be that it doubles any damage from affinities I don't have, but... <laughs> nice find. It's almost like that coat was specially made for you. And you cut a handsome figure with it. Uh, well, I guess we'd better head back to Reflet. <laughs> You're still playing Shogi? That's right. You've been playing non-stop for almost a week now. Nobody's gonna be coming to the shop with all this rain. And there's nothing you could possibly be repairing or cleaning in the meantime, right? Modeling. A spell that lets me reshape objects made of minerals or wood. Let's try it. Modeling! <laughs> cool, it works. What the heck did you just make?! Your shop barrel, will it be okay without you? Yeah, my wife is taking care of things there. But listen, Toya, would you mind making me another one of these boards so I can play at home? Huh? I'd be awfully grateful. Well, they aren't that hard for me to make, but. Thanks, you're the best! Shit! Damn! You stubborn bastard! Hey! Calm it down, will you? Huh? It's just a friendly game, dear. Whatever. <laughs> By the way, Mika, have you seen anyone else around? I'm pretty sure that Linz is in her room right now. But Elise took Yai down to Parents Cafe to try that new dessert they came out with. I just showed it to them. They went out in all this rain. We're back! <laughs> and we're soaked! Yes, but we came bearing gifts. Welcome back. How'd it go? We got it. Yep, the line was a lot shorter thanks to the rain. This treat is quite delicious. They ate there and brought some back? Here. This one's for you, Mika. Thanks! So here's one for Linz. This one is for me and Yai. And that one's for the Duke. Be a doll and deliver it, would you? Hmm? Why me? Why wouldn't you want to share a treat with the Duke? He's a nice guy. In that case, why don't you come deliver it with me? I have to polish my gauntlets. Uh... <laughs> it tastes like a cloud of sugar! Mind your manners in front of our guests. Truly, though, this treat is exquisite. What did you say it was called? A royal cake? I envy the people of Reeflet, but they can enjoy this whenever they please. If I could use gate like you, I'd purchase it daily. If you'd like me to, I could give the recipe to your chef so he can make it for you here. That's great! We can eat it every day for the rest of our lives! Now, Sue, that would be too much. We shall limit ourselves to every other day. Yeah, that's probably still too much. Hmm. All right, Toya. You say this game is called Shogi? Yeah. It's a two-player strategy. Get out. Hmm. <laughs> that I do. Oh, there! I want to play too! Well, then be patient. You can play as soon as I'm done. 
Fascinating. So if my pieces advance across the board, I can promote them. Right. I like to think of it as my troops getting hardened from battle. <laughs> About that, Sue. This may take a while. Why don't you go play outside? Because it's raining outside! <laughs> is posted here, too. It must be destined. Any job with that one! There is no fouler union than that of Sticky and Gooey. Mm -hmm. uh, doesn't look like I'm winning this one. Uh. <laughs> oh, no. What were you just thinking about? Who, me? What do you mean? <laughs> Why don't we do this one? It's just around the corner, guy! Understood. treasure near this spot. Aw, oh, boo. At least we tried. Hold on. That just means there's nothing Toya would see as treasure here. Try broadening your search and something might come up still. That's a pretty good idea, Linz. Search, search for, for historical, historical relics. relics. straight ahead of us. And it's big, whatever it is. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it's underneath all this rubble. I'm not sure how we could get to it. I can take care of this. First forth, Raging Flame, Great Crimson Inferno, Eruption! <laughs> Yai's right. 
Ghosts don't exist. <laughs> What's up? The ghosts are just as likely to attack from behind. <laughs> Shut up and walk! Look at that. Lynx, do you know what language it's written in? I don't. I've never seen this. I'm familiar with most ancient magic scripts, but this is completely foreign. No sweat. I'll just take a picture of it for now. <laughs> Everyone get back! The ghosts want blood! Oh, sorry. Just how many odd things is that smartphone of yours capable of? Slowly but surely, they're getting used to it. Hey, come check this out. Do you guys see that red rock in the wall? Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure that's an earth spell stone. It's probably designed to activate a powerful spell whenever manas pass through it. What kind of spell? Like a trap? Well, I wouldn't rule that out as a possibility, but who knows? It'll be fine. Pass some mana through it, Toya. Uh, hold on, why not? Because you're the only one here with an affinity for earth magic. Oh, yeah, I guess that's fair. <laughs> hey, if it'll be fine, then why'd you back away? Well, just in case, to be on the safe side. trouble to impress us. Anyone care to guess what it is? Nope, but it looks pretty magical. It kind of looks like a statue. A clear glass, but there's not enough light for me to see inside. Not to be rude, Lens, but just how short is the duration of that light spell you cast? What? I mean, light magic is admittedly one of my weaker affinities, but I can keep a spell like this up for at least two hours. Strange. It hasn't been half that long, and yet the light is definitely fading. Yeah, it's petering out pretty fast. Hey, look in there. That glass thing couldn't be absorbing your magic, could it? <gasps> Whoa, I think it's alive! <laughs>
Hold still for a sec. Thanks. I'm all right now. We lost blood, so take it easy. It absorbs magic attacks, and its shell is crazy tough. But it has to regenerate. And the longer we paddle it, the stronger it'll get. <laughs> Just like a shogi piece. That's it! We captured the king! Hey, Elise, listen up! Can you really do that? I can't be sure, but it's still the best chance we have. I'm with you. That's where the magic was stored. Breaking its body wasn't working, so I went for the core. Where do we go from here? I suppose we should report this to the guild. Considering that we found it in the old capital, I think we'd better report it to the kingdom. Agreed. Maybe we should talk to the duke about it. A magic beast? In the ruins beneath the old capital, no less. Weird, right? I'll have to send out an expedition, see what they find. Yes, I'll send one at once. The thing is, that dungeon I mentioned, the whole thing's collapsed now. I see. Uh, hold on, I did take some pictures of it. Pictures? See here? My, what is this device? It's a type of null magic that I use to record images. <laughs> you never cease to impress me. It'll take me a little time, but I can make a copy for you to keep. Please do. I think this may provide us some insight into the mystery of why the capital was moved. That's a pretty big part of your kingdom's history to be left blank. Aren't there records? I'm sure there were once, but none remain. That's too bad. Forgive me, but I may need to request your assistance in this matter once more. Would you be willing? Of course. If your men run into danger, we'll be happy to help them. That's most reassuring to hear. Why do our jobs never go smoothly? I'd feel better about it if we found some treasure. We can go ch- Same. Let's go somewhere with better lighting next time. Gate! Drawing magic. Hmm. I thought it might come in handy. <laughs> Toya, it's more than fortunate that you'd arrive at a time like this. An act of God, perhaps, for I'm in desperate need of your aid. I'll be glad to give it. What happened? It's my brother. He's been poisoned. What? <laughs> Count Balsa. It's an honor, your grace. You come at the perfect time. Our guards have just captured the treacherous demon behind the attempt on his majesty's life. What? And who was it? It was the esteemed ambassador from Miss Mead. Let's cut off her head and return it. Quiet! My brother will be the one to make that decision. You think so? I admire your fair spirit, but it's wasted on that beast. Stay with us. He's trying. Daddy is. 
batalla. It's good to see you, but who is this? We'll speak later. Go to him with haste. It can heal any abnormal condition. I didn't think anyone still living could use it. <sighs> You're healed. I was so worried. I suddenly feel as though all that suffering were but a dream. Oh, thank goodness. Do tell me, Alfred, who's this young man? Allow me to introduce the young Mochizuki Toya. He gave Ellen her sight back. And now he's healed you. I see. You saved me. Many thanks. <laughs> no problem. Mochizuki Toya, is it? <laughs> you did an excellent job, young man. Very impressive. <laughs> That's kind of painful, sir. Please, uh, General uh, Leon, calm down. Though it is exciting to see recovery used again. Makes me wonder what other secrets you're hiding. The name Charlotte, by the way. Official mage of the royal family. Tell me, young man, you don't possess any other affinities for magic, do you? Well, uh, yeah, I can use a good few. I bet you can. <laughs> I'd love to get you alone and talk shop sometime. Yeah, well, look at my schedule. Excuse uh, me. You saved my father's life, sir. There's no need to thank me. I'm just glad he's okay now. Hmm. Uh, is there anything else? Do you dislike those younger than you? What? I failed to see uh, what Miss Mead would gain from my death. No, this was far more likely the act of a solitary traitor. That was my suspicion as well. But there's proof. What kind of proof? Sir, you collapsed almost immediately after drinking wine you received from the Ambassador. Who else could have poisoned it? So, he was poisoned with wine. Interesting. Hmm. Let's speak with this Ambassador. Hear her defense. At once. Hail, your majesty. Olga Strand at your service. Your Arma sister. Uh, you're here? Oh? Are you a friend of the ambassadors, young Toya? Yeah, kinda. I ran into her sister Arma and helped her find her way home one time. By the way, no one's messed with the room where the king collapsed since it happened, right? Oh, right. I ordered none to touch it. In that case, I bet I can sort this out. <sighs> Here, the wine the king drank. I might not need it. I think I understand now. General, could you invite the king's party to join us? Oh, and also, see if Count Balsa can come. <laughs> Elementary, my dear. Uh What's the meaning of this? Why have I been called back here? <laughs> Your Majesty! Fear not, good Count. I have recovered. Indeed. I'm pleased to see you well, Your Grace. Well, that's all of us. I assume you found something since you called us here. We'll get to that. Now, everyone who was present when the King collapsed is currently in this room. Is that correct? That's right. All of us were present. And therefore... <sighs> The culprit is in this room! Nailed it! I always wanted to say that line. Speak, Toya. Tell us your meaning. Uh, yeah, sorry. Sure, the culprit's here. She's standing right next to me. His Majesty took a drink of before his collapse. He gave a toast, took a sip, and fell. Yes. That much is certain. Yes, which means, as I've been saying, this wench gave the king poison wine. The wine wasn't Be poison. Be silent, you lowly beast woman. Now then, I'd like to verify a certain suspicion I have. Verify? Yeah. First of all, I've prepared a bottle of wine that surely isn't poisoned. I'm afraid that I'm still a miner, so I won't be able to test it myself. I'll have to ask one of you to assist me. General Leon, would you mind? 
What's a miner? I'm not sure what you're trying to prove here, but sure. <clears throat> ah, a fine vintage. Now that we can all agree beyond a doubt that this wine is poison-free, I'll pour it into His Majesty's glass using the same tray his was on. Hmm. Since His Majesty isn't feeling well, he'll need a substitute. Now, who's regal enough to fully recreate this scene? Huh, Count Balsa, <clears throat> please. That doesn't seem safe. Of course it is. I mean, it's not like there's a way to poison wine after it leaves the bottle. Hmm. Balsa, what's the matter? It's just... You see. What's up? Does the thought of portraying the king give you stage fright? <sighs> I'm sure. <laughs> Please, somebody help me! <laughs> it burns. It's all in your head. I already washed the poison out of the glass. What? <laughs> I wonder. What made you think there was poison in here? <laughs> Explain yourself. Well, it definitely wasn't the wine from Olga that was poisoned. As the Cal clearly knew, it's the King's glass that was poisoned. I see. He framed me. I discovered this by using my search null magic to detect him. Actually, it seems all of His Highness's glasses were poisoned. I shudder at the thought. Are you gonna confess now? <clears throat> the perfect man. What? You good over there? It seems that you're both talented and wise. Huh? I won't let it in here. <laughs> Don't slip. to the Duke was more exciting than expected, that's all. I have an announcement! A big one! May I speak? Of course, Yumina. Well, I've been staring at Toya all day, so I, I think I'll take him as my husband. <laughs> First, I must ask why you have chosen him. He's intelligent, and he lives to bring happiness to those around him. And I should mention, he's quite pleasing to look at. He's the first person I've ever felt like I could spend the rest of my life with. Ah, I see. Well, if that's how you feel, I shan't oppose you. I wish you a happy life together. <laughs> yeah? Well, this is wonderful. It calls for celebration. Hey, hold on a second! What? Is something the matter? No, I mean, yeah! Well, aren't you being kind of quick to accept this? You met me like two hours ago, remember? Judged you to be a good man. And that tells me all I need to know. Seriously? How? It's quite simple. Our daughter has mystic eyes, see? The mystic eyes of intuition, they're called. With them, Yumina can see one's true character. <laughs> yeah, well, that's not the only issue. I mean, first of all, how friggin' old is she? She's 12. Huh. Well, there! Wouldn't that make her a little too young to get married? It's common for us in the royal family to settle on a partner before age 15. I was betrothed to Yule at 14. I only wish we'd done it sooner. <laughs> right? Yes, I was hoping that our Yumina would find someone special soon. <sighs> <sighs> if you dislike me, it's okay to say so, Toya. I'm... It isn't that screwed. Well, then there isn't a problem, is there? Um, men can't get married until they're adults in my country. So marriage isn't an option for me until I turn 18. And how old are you now, Toya? I'm about to turn 16. Well, in that case, why don't you two spend the next couple of years getting to know one another? Huh? If, after spending that much time with her, you're still unable to consider marriage, we'll accept your decision, of course. Will that work? Sure. Two measly years? She'll only be- I'll give you two years to win over Toya's heart, okay? And win it I shall! <laughs> I certainly hope you'll treat me well, darling. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm just having-
having a bad dream. Sad God. Hey, congrats on the engagement! You've seriously been watching this? <laughs> Seems like things are getting interesting! Please don't laugh at my pain. I don't even want to think about marriage, let alone with a 12-year-old. And we wouldn't want that. Just like we wouldn't want you to go to a special place in hell, am I right? <laughs> Say, did you know that polygamy's a thing in that world? Are you sure you aren't secretly the devil? Of course not. I'd hate to do this job. <laughs> Too hot. Anyway, I'm rooting for you. Later. <sighs> what the hell, God? and you got engaged? This is quite the surprise. What were you thinking, Toya? Uh, it's not an official engagement. You... And I look forward to staying with you. When was it decided that you'd stay with us? Well, my father ordered me to. But you're a princess. You sure you'll be okay, milady? Yes, and there's no need for formalities. We'll be companions, after all. I'm a little inexperienced, but I'll definitely do my best. So, how do I get a guild card? I'd like to start working as soon as possible! Huh? Yeah, look, Princess. Guild jobs are too dangerous. I can't let you come. I'll be fine. Also, please stop calling me Princess. From now on, it's either Yumina or Darling. Wait, Wait did, did she, she say Darling? Uh, Darling's not gonna work for me! Well, Yumina then, right? Right. Yumina. Well done. Wait a sec. If you two actually do get married, does that mean that you'll be the next king? Uh, me? A king? No, 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 no. I, I don't think so. That's crazy talk, at least. In the event that Toya and I should conceive, the child born between us will succeed the throne. Uh -huh. <sighs> All five together! Sure you want to start with hunting king eight? I should like this shit spice. Well, if you do get in trouble, I'm sure your fiancé will protect you. <laughs> Don't worry. I may look fragile, but I've been trained in archery and magic. And I'd like to think myself capable in both. Let's get started. Come forth, Buck. I seek the proud beasts wrapped in silver. Silver wolf pack. Sounds like a summoning spell. Magic seems pretty convenient. I'd be happy to teach you how it works later. Thanks. Let's do it after this mission, okay? Sure. staring at me. And not in a good way either. It gets super awkward. Why do people stare? Well, they're jealous, obviously. Just think about it. A single guy with three super cute girls. Uh, <laughs> come on, what are you trying to say, Toya? You're such a joker. Calling us cute. <laughs> hey, 
Toya, what about me? Am I as cute as your friends are? Yeah, I think you're pretty cute. Yeah, <laughs> you're cute. Was it you who summoned me? Cool, guess I pulled it off. That was just the first step. The hard part is forming a pact with the summoned beast. Wanna make a deal? You seek to tame me? How amusing. I hope you have flesh on your bones! Uh, a white tiger! I've heard of this. The white monarch. Is that a good one? It's the highest class of beast that can be summoned. Not a magic beast, but a heavenly beast. Heaven? Okay. So how exactly do I form a pact with something like that? Show me the class of magic energy you possess. Should I find it lacking, I'll devour you. Could you not? Strange. I sense a spirit, or perhaps an even higher power. Now come. Let your magic flow into me. If you promise not to bite, I'll give it a shot. Kohaku sound. Kohaku. That's Ko for tiger, and Haku means white. And the symbol I put beside each of them stands for king. The white tiger beside the king. Yes, this name fits me well. I can't believe you packed it with the white monarch. The white monarch is my name no longer. I am now Kohaku. Understood, Kohaku. Master. With your permission, I would like to stand by your side at all times. Uh, sorry, but I don't think I can walk around town with a giant tiger. I believe that this form will be far less conspicuous. Yeah, that ought to work. Oh, you're so cute! Get your grubby hands off me! I just, who do you think you are? My name's Yumina. It's a pleasure to meet you. I am... She keeps on pushing this white thing. I could just cuddle you. Oh, dang. Such a cute kitty! Oh, he's so fluffy! This is the most adorable kitten I've ever squeezed! A tiger! Please, Master, you have to make them stop it! Barrett, how calm it What's the deal? Why do you all look so glum? Kohaku just joined the team. Try and show some enthusiasm. I'm excited. <sighs> We could never be enthusiastic about this. For the record, we never would have taken this job if we'd known it was slimes. They're sending us to a slime researcher's castle, no less. How'd we get ourselves into this? <sighs> Why do you hate slimes so much? They aren't that dangerous, are they? I just instinctively dislike them. Especially the green ones. They can melt your clothes. You hate them too, huh? Well, you could let your elders take the lead on this one, okay? Their clothes can melt. So none of these slimes have been seen in the past ten years, huh? That's right. I feel like we could just leave them be. It's not like they're attacking the local villagers. Attack or no, those poor villagers have had to live their lives in fear! Could we call ourselves true adventurers if we refused to help them? No, we could not! I doubt this is all that important. What if those slimes were to attack a village later? It would be our fault for not preventing it, right? Your motivations are strictly honorable. Right, Toya? Uh, well, uh, just in it to protect the weak. Looks kind of creepy, but it's perfectly safe. Well, let's find some sand. Are you hurt? I thought you said it was safe in here, Toya. I did, and I meant it, and I'm totally fine. Toya, look! The basin! Huh? A slime? Yeah, but I've 
never heard of one transforming like that. I suppose the researcher here might have created it. That seems like an odd thing to make. Our client said he was probably dead by now, but maybe he left notes. <laughs> Slimes must have eaten the pages. Yeah, that looks like the work of a green slime to me. This one seems to be intact. Oh, yeah? I think it's his research journal. It catalogs the various slimes he created. Let's take that with us, then. We can use it to figure out what we're up against. We've seen every room on the first floor, so let's head up those stairs we saw earlier, okay? No! What? That punk's up to something! <laughs> Just territorial. Everyone okay? Mm -hmm. oh, this is my favorite outfit. What'll I do? Uh, those slimes melted more than half my skirt off. Wow, that acid even burned through part of my bindings. Well, maybe I can find some pots nearby. Yeah. Thanks to those green abominations, you can see right through to my underwear now. Stupid slime. Stop looking, you freak! I'm sorry! I didn't mean to! Good job! Next time we see a green slime, we crush it. Ideally with Toya's body. Green slime in particular, but he mass-produced a bunch of random ones in the process. I agree. He writes that it's impossible to tell what trait a slime might have before creating it. When we're done here, let's destroy this castle. Burn it. Purify the land. That does seem like the thing to do, but I'm not that sure how the authorities would feel about it. This fortress has been abandoned for some time, so I doubt that my father would mind its destruction. I'm not sure that I'd want to risk it. A scientist lived here. Why? Is something odd about them? Did you see something, Toya? Yeah, it looked like one of their chests just moved. Huh? Did you really just say that? Honestly, men these days. Hush, look, I'll show you. Whoa, it's squishy! <laughs> Bus slimes. They attach to women's chests and mimic them. Apparently, their preference is to accentuate smaller breasts. Failed again, but I'm close. Close to what? Out of the game! I'll grow. Huh? I'm still developing right now. Oh, yeah. Of course you are. 
course you are. Good. This room's safe, at least. Huh. I guess the slime researcher died here. Looks like it. Let's see. It's finished. After years of work, I've fulfilled mankind's greatest dream. Now I can die without regret. Yes, I see heaven's light. The heck is this? Toya, look! Ah! Right there! They're transforming, but into what? things first. Pervy slime dude, thanks for coming through. So much happening in such a small space. Yeah, we're pretty much in the center of town now. Master, what is Yai doing to that tiny person? Huh? Hey, Yai. What's with the kid? Good evening, Toya. I just found her. It would seem that she lost her parents. been trying to get her to tell me her name, but as upset as she is, my efforts have been for naught. Hmm. Greetings, little girl. What's your name? Lim. I see. Your mom called you that? Uh -huh. Search. Lim's family. Did you have any luck? I'm afraid not. Search is a cool spell, but it doesn't have the biggest range. Shit. Search. Nice. Worked. Are you ready to go see your mom now? Uh. <gasps> Mommy! You found me! <laughs> Say, if I might ask, hmm? how exactly was your smartphone able to help you find that girl's mother? Well, you see, Search can let me look for all kinds of stuff, as long as it's nearby. And this has a map of the entire world I can search through. But normally you can only search for bigger stuff, like where a shop's at. Oh! So by using your enchanting spell, you were able to combine the best aspects of search and your phone. Yeah, exactly. Now that I've combined them, I can search for just about anything. Wow! That's amazing, Toya! Uh, uh, wait, so in that case, might you be willing to find my brother for me? Don't see why not. So, is your brother missing, or did you just want to know what he's up to? I haven't seen him in quite a while. Not since I left him back home to go on this journey. I've kind of been worrying about him this whole time. Let's stalk him, then. Could you give me a few details about your house? Yes, no problem. It's right next to a small shrine, and there's a lovely cherry blossom. Hashiba? Indeed it is! Do you see my brother there? Well, I can't yet. First, I'll need his description. He has a scar from battle on his cheek. I think he's in the dojo. And he's moving around, so I guess he might be sparring. That certainly sounds like my brother. He truly loves to practice with a sword. Sometimes so much that he forgets to eat dinner. Judging from how you talk about him, you two must be close. Yes, you have the right of it. My brother is in equal parts strong, kind, and generous. And I love him a great deal. You know what? To be honest, you rather remind me of my brother in a myriad of ways. You have his quiet nature, and you're both quite generous. Well, if you think I resemble your beloved brother, <gasps> then I'm honored. You should be honored. My love isn't... <laughs> oh, wait! All that I meant to say is that you resemble my brother, okay? I am in no way implying that I love you like I love him. That would be weird. Who would do that? Not me, because I don't. You just like the big one for me my brother. That's all! It's a simple yeah, problem. It's it. about time our food arrived. Not that I'm complaining. Everything's fine. <laughs> In 
and chant long since. That spell works too. shop today. I've been trying to learn more. Hmm? Well, why might that be? Remember how at the slime castle I couldn't fight with fire? I'd like to learn more options next time. So I'm studying up now. I hope to learn a lot of new spells. Oh, I gotcha. Can you help me with this scroll? That bit needs cutter, and that storm, this one is sword. Hmm. That looks wordy. Well, it has several spells. But a lot of these characters are in an ancient script that I'm not familiar with. Wait. Modeling. Enchant. Reading. Ancient magic script. Guess and try reading it. That's incredible! I can read everything now! Cool! Any good spells in there? There's a bubble bomb. It's a water-based attack spell. Hey, Toya? Mm -hmm. I'd like to go give this spell a try. Would you mind coming with me? Come forth, water. Ballistic bubbles! Bubble bomb! It works! Good. Now to make a big one. taught me this spell yesterday. Transfer. A null magic that lets one pass their mana into someone else. Thank you very much. Okay. Come forth, water! Ballistic bubbles! Bubble bomb! I know that isn't right, but I just can't seem to grasp how this spell is supposed to work. I see. If only I'd seen it before, this would be easy if I knew what to picture. Wait, what? Huh? What's the problem again? Well, you can't cast a spell just by chanting its name. You also have to visualize what that spell should do. Well, bubbles are like foamy liquid. And a bomb is just a thing that blows up. Blows up? Yeah, you know, like an explosion. Except, instead of fire, it's a water bubble. An exploding bubble. Yeah, I'm trying, but I just don't see it. Hey, just imagine a soap bubble getting popped. Only picture it like a couple hundred times bigger. A big soap bubble? Bubble bomb! your own hard work paying off. I was just here to cheer you on a bit. <laughs> My poor gauntlet. It's ruined. It won't break. I'll handle this. Come forth, water! Ballistic bubbles! Bubble bomb! I think 
think you should. Hmm? Why not replace them both and get a better set? I think I will. Want to take me to the capital? I'm not likely to find a decent set in this town. Thank you for your patronage. Please tell your friends and come back soon. <laughs> you gotta love the capital. There's so much stuff to buy, although it's way expensive. Heavy. <laughs> hey, Elise, let's duck into that alley and use gate. <laughs> like this. I wouldn't be caught dead in it. Oh yeah? Well, if Linz would look good in it, then I think you would too. <gasps> Wait! Who are you trying to kid? Linz is the cute, dainty one! Don't even try to deny it! Is that how you feel? I always thought you were both cute. <laughs> you don't say. Yeah. Don't waste your breath trying to flatter me. I know what my look is and I'm perfectly content with it. I'm just not the kind of girl who looks good in clothes like that. Well, you can't know for sure until you try it on. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Wait! Toya, stop! Room! Mama Boom! Wow. You see? I look ridiculous, right? Well, hey, I warned you. Huh? What are you talking about? That dress looks amazing on you. You really think so? Do you mind if she wears it out? Sure. Whoa, hold it, Toya. No way am I going to buy this. Hmm. I'll buy it. Because if it's a gift... <sighs> wow, sis! Does it look... weird? No, it's really cute! That dress looks fantastic on you! Yeah, you look lovely! Yeah? You think so? Toya bought it for me. Wow! He should get dresses for all of us! Huh? I like that plan! <laughs> me too! Let's do it soon! <laughs> hey, Yumina! You've got a letter from the Royal Palace. From my parents? <laughs> so, Toya, your presence is requested at the Royal Palace. Yeah? What for? As a reward for saving Father's life and exposing his would-be assassin, you're to be knighted. You're knighting, knighting him? Is that something I can decline? Decline? That's certainly an option. Although they'd want you to state your reason for doing so in front of the court. Uh, I gotta go either way. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we'll get to visit... Assumed. I don't think that's what the king had in mind when he gave it to you. He probably meant for you to live in it with Yumina. This is a fine home, but if it's meant to be your place of bonding, then it wouldn't be fair for us three to intrude. <laughs> a place of bonding? Well, then why shouldn't the three of you stay here? I mean, I like you all the same. Come on. To me, you're all like family. Uh, what's up? Girls okay? I'm gonna go and look around upstairs, okay? I will also be running upstairs now to see the attic, that's it. And I am extremely curious about the kitchen, which is why I'm also running away! What is all that? I get it now. You're not opposed to starting a family. Your affections are just divided. Well, that's a big step forward. While I do hope you'll share your life with me, Toya, I have no intention of monopolizing you. I think this arrangement could work nicely, and I suspect that the others might agree. I'll talk to them and feel things out for you. <laughs> uh, huh? Hold on, what are you doing? <laughs> Don't ask me, I'm just a cat. And oh, this is a pleasant garden. You like it? Yeah, we should stay. <laughs> um, Toya. <laughs> so, just to be sure, you're actually asking all of us to live with you? Pretty much, yeah. You won't change your mind later? And kick us all out? Why would I do that? And you, Mina, here. Uh, you'll treat all of us exactly as you would treat her? Of course I will. <sighs> it's settled then. All of us.
us will live here together. We'll move forward as we discussed earlier once you're all sure you've made up your minds. Yeah, right. Everyone's agreed then? You made up your minds about what? I'm lost. It's a secret! Oh. Hey. I'm starting to think that your authority in this household is rather limited, Master. <laughs> My name is Liam, young Master. I'm your new butler. I brought on these ladies of the Maid's Guild to assist me temporarily. My name is Lapis, sir. And my name is Deceal, sir. We're very pleased to meet you. These two will handle the gardens and the kitchens, and these two shall ensure the estate's security. Liam has actually been my father's chief butler for as long as I can remember. Huh? Seriously? I passed that duty on to my son. As I have decided to spend the remainder of my life serving the man who saved my younger brothers. Younger brother? Yes, his name is Liam. He's currently in the service of His Grace, Duke Ortoline. Oh, that guy I pulled the arrow out of! So, Toya, what do you think? If you recommend him, then sure. Thanks. Glad to have you. Thank you very much, sir. Everyone should know their duties. Let's get to work at once. Sir! I can't believe the man who ran the King's Palace is working for us now. A talented butler is more helpful than you'd guess. This just goes to show how much promise everyone sees in you. Master Toya, His Grace Duke Ortolind and Lady Sushi request an audience with you. Toya! I came to see you! Oh, oh, the tickler's here. I was surprised to hear about you and Toya's engagement, cousin. How did he woo you? There wasn't any wooing that I was aware of. And here I was contemplating a marriage between you and Sue. Well played, Yumina. You beat me to it. You should have told me you were thinking about that, Father. Oh, well, it's never too late to show my feminine allure. Well, that makes one. You know what would really please me is some more of this tea. Fine, I'll stand down for today at least. Thanks for understanding, sir. I should tell you that I'm actually here to make a request. Yeah, what's that? As you recently became aware, my brother is contemplating an alliance with the Kingdom of Mismede. Naturally, the kings would like to meet in person, so they may discuss this matter in depth. And that's our problem. Normally one king would visit the other at his palace, but now the journey seems too perilous. And so, I... You'd like to use Toya's gate spell. That's right, Yumina. You catch on quite quickly. But I can only use gate to travel to places I've been to. Oh, I get it. Yes, I'm asking you to travel to Mismede. That's what I figured. <laughs> I am Garen of Mismead. Well met. And I'm with the first Night Squad of Belfast. My name's Leon Blitz. This journey to Mismead shall mark the first time our two Kingdom soldiers act in unison. Well, we're glad to be a part of it. Getting to travel at a native side should be a big help, Olga. I was about to return to my homeland regardless. We're actually just as excited to be traveling with you. Our first stop will be the city of Canaan, which is in Belfast. Fear not! We shall see that you get home safely, milady. I'll be counting on you, Sir Leon. Oh, thanks! <laughs> it's this one! Uh, Sorry. Now let's see about this one. And pair! Nicely done! Seems I've been bested yet again. Yae, no, why don't we switch out? You can help Olga here practice her shogi. I would love that! Dolan taught me the basics back at the Silver Moon! Cool. Hey, Yumina, wanna learn blackjack? I'm 17! Yeah, right. And so, thanks to the clever Puss in Boots, the Miller's son was married to the King's daughter, and they all lived happily. Yeah, and what happened after that, Toya? What is it? Armored men approaching. At least 20. It's probably a gang of bandits. Let me see. Search for bandits. 8, 12, 20. I'm counting 28 of them total. Let me try something real quick. Enchant phone, multiple. Yeah, this'll work. Check it out. I lock on here and fly. <laughs> I hit him with the paralysis spell. 
They should be easy to round up now. So what do we do with these guys? I'll send a rider to Canaan. They can send guards to pick them up. Thank you, Leon. Sorry for the trouble. Uh, not at all. You need not worry on my account. I'm always glad to be of service. Pardon, I must make my men draw straws. Uh -huh. So that's how it is, eh? Oh, to be young. <laughs> what a feeling it once was. I almost miss it. I barely remember it. And when did we get old? It's clear to us that Leon has feelings for Lady Olga, but do you think she knows? Oh yeah, that girl's flirting hard. Luckily for him, she's not half as dense as a certain someone. Uh, yeah? Who's that? He's certainly slow to pick up on things, but he does have a very kind spirit. He's super nice to everybody. Yeah, that does make up for the dimness. There's a difference between being nice and leading people on, though. Do you still not get it? Then sit down and think. But why? Just do it! Okay. Sure. What's up, Leon? Souvenir shopping? Hey, Toya! No, I'm just shopping for a gift. Oh, nothing romantic, though. I promised my mother that I'd get her something. Oh? <laughs> Pick something, Arma. I'll grab it for you. As a memento of your time in Belfast. Whichever I want? Wow. Um, this one. You've got good taste. <laughs> Thank you very much, Toya. Here, thank you. Thanks for your business. Say, does your sister like brooches as well? I'm not sure. It depends. <gasps> Yuli's flowers like this are her favorite. She'd love that. Well, that works out. We'll see you later. We're gonna go catch up with the others now. Right, bye. You figured me out? Of course, and I think it's very sweet what you did, although I would have liked a present myself. Sorry about that. <laughs> well, the only gift I really need is the ring you'll put on my finger someday. I'm willing to wait until then. Yeah. sick on boats all the time. We could stay here for the evening if you don't feel well enough to travel on. I'm good. It's just a carriage ride. I felt fine once I got off the boat. <laughs> Strange that you needed Toya to carry you then. Eh, Linz? Well, yeah, I was tired. And Toya's arms are deceptively strong. Not that I noticed. Sorry if getting carried around was embarrassing. Oh, no, that was not the problem. There's no point in trying. This is Toya we're talking about. Stop staring. Is that for real? Yes, I felt it too. Someone was definitely observing us, but they've concealed their presence for now. We'll have to keep our guard up moving forward. Are you ready to go, Toya? Yeah, sure. beautiful hairpiece you're wearing. Oh, yeah. Do you like it? I'm flattered to hear that. It suits you nicely. Although, honestly, I'd be even happier if he displayed his affection by hugging me closer, holding my hand. Well, time to go. It doesn't seem likely that we'll reach Elf Village before nightfall. Then we better find a place to set camp soon, right? This forest is full of magical creatures, but a party this large should be safe. That's a bit frightening, though. Kohaku's with us. Those magic beasts won't even come close. <laughs> You're the best, Kohaku. Yeah! Hey, are we out of time? Would you mind if I finish drying my hair, Toya? Yeah, but hurry. We don't want to make people suspicious. Okay. Toya! What did we miss? No one knows, but the animals seem to be running from something. Something big's heading towards us. It's flying! A dragon? But 
What is it doing out here? Did this happen often? No, the dragons normally stay within the sacred grounds at the center of our nation. If the dragons have left those grounds, it may be to retaliate against a trespasser. Uh, do you think someone did that? There is another option. Times rampage without cause. Uh-oh. Looks like it's heading straight for Eld Village. And we have to help! Yumina, I need you to stay. Keep everyone here safe. Right. Let's get moving. Is 
master of the White Monarch. I apologize for my brethren's insolence. Well, at least you tried to stop him. I beg your mercy. I'll let you off this time. But give the young ones a good talking to, so none of them pull something like this again. That I will, sir. Glad that's done with. What a hassle. <laughs> hey, what's the matter? You're really asking that? You talk to a dragon. Aren't you freaking out at least a little? Eh, I'm alright. It's all good! <laughs> well then... What a relief. are kind, but we just tried to do what's right. What's this? There are few materials in this world as light and durable as the fang of a dragon. Then you keep it. I'm told that you damaged your sword in our defense. Take this fang to a master smith, and he can forge you a fine new weapon. Or else you can sell it and purchase one with the proceeds. That's a good idea, sir. Thanks for suggesting it. It really is light. Also, I'd like to return this to you. It was found in one of the dragon's eyes. I presume it's yours. I wonder. Kohaku, did you sense whoever threw this knife? Yes. In fact, I think I sensed two people outside of our group. Hiding in the trees. At the time, I assumed they were. Oh, so this is it. Bears, the royal capital of Mismeet. Your Majesty, I, Olga Strand, have completed my work in the Kingdom of Belfast. Hmm. You have done well. As have you, Garen. And you, Knight of Belfast, I thank you both for escorting Lady Strand home. Your, Your Grace. Grace. Envoys of Belfast, I'm pleased to welcome you to Mismead. I hear that a dragon attacked Eld Village and that you defeated it. Tell me, is this true? Yes, that's right, Your Majesty. These four dispatched the dragon that attacked your village and can confirm that it acted alone. And who are you? My apologies for the delayed introduction, Your Grace. It's an honor and a pleasure to meet you. I am Princess Yumina Arena Belfast, the daughter of King Tristwin Ernest Belfast. Heavens! And what brings the Princess of Belfast to my halls? Please consider my presence a sign of Belfast's earnest hope for this alliance. My father penned this letter in his own hand. Read it at your pleasure, Your Grace. I shall think on the matter and respond in the near future. Until then, please rest. Enjoy my palace. A dragon slayer in my halls. 
<laughs> My blood's not royal so in ages. How about it, young Toya? Would you care to spar? <laughs> You have. Sir Toya, His Majesty has long felt compelled to fight any strong warrior he meets. Frankly, we're all quite troubled by it. Oh, yeah? So don't go holding back. Give him a good sound thrashing. Do it for all of us who love him. That seems a little counterintuitive, but I am in another country. Here are the rules. The match will end whenever a combatant admits defeat, or is put into a position to receive a fatal wound. Use of magic is permitted, provided that it's not offensive magic which directly harms a combatant. Fighters, at the ready! I think we are. Give it all you've got, boy. Think of this as a real battle. Use any and all means available to beat me. Yeah, okay. Very well! Again! Slip. <laughs> you just do? Hey! Come back! That's one of my no magic spells. It's called Slip. He did say it was cool to use non-damaging spells, right? Yeah, except that one. A spell like that doesn't even let a match happen. Let's go one more time. Only that Slip spell is off limits. No forcing me to trip this time, you hear me? I'll have it clear. Begin! King Jamak is stronger. Without magic, he has the upper hand. Cast something, Toya. Come for set! Obstructing just Too slow! Multiple! Made the king back off with a bluff. Clever. I would expect no less from Toya. Now, boost! Excellent. Managed to dodge that. Well done. Consider me impressed. So quick. I could barely see a blur. It must be his null magic. That ability you just used. I'm guessing it's your null magic? That it is. You can see why I enjoy a good scrap now and then. I almost thought you'd teleport it. I've yet to find a man who could match my Excel's speed. But it burns through my mana fast, too. So I prefer to use it in short bursts. I know. <laughs> so thank you. I'm excited to start using it. Excel. Did you? Impossible. This spell's surprisingly difficult to control. Still, I doubt I'll miss again. Excel. Excel. Will this fight take a turn? I can't see a thing. You match me in speed, but how will you match my raw power? Good question. Not sure I have an answer, but here goes. Excel and boost! Excel! Looks like checkmate. I can't say I understand what that phrase means, but I do concede defeat. The winner is Mochizuki Toya! I can't believe he used two null magics at once. I never thought I'd meet someone who could beat my speed. Honestly, I think I'd gotten a little full of myself. I'll have to take a lesson from this. Uh, yeah? <laughs> Sir Toya, nice outfit. It suits you well. Thanks. By the way, you haven't seen Lady Olga around, have you? Not yet, but I just got here. Magic spells. 
It allows me to record an image of any scene so I can see it later. Indeed. It's like you made an instant painting. Can you take it out of that device? Why, yes, I can. Do you have a canvas or a piece of paper I could use? Drawing. That's simply amazing. Tell me, Toya, do you think you could paint me as well? <laughs> sure, no problem. Cute, 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 and bop! Cute, 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 and bop! What's this? You brought a strange guest with you, Paula. Good evening. Might I inquire as to your name? Oh, yeah, my name's Toya. Or Mochizuki Toya. I just go by Toya. That will do. So you're the rumored Dragon Slayer. Did it just close itself? Uh, yeah, that was me. And you? Oh, right. Please forgive me. I'm Lean, an elder of the fairy folk, and here, we have my friend Paula. Despite appearances, I'm actually far older than you. You're older than me? Okay, by how much? Well, it's difficult to say. Lost track of you. Older, but it's a pain to recall, so let's just go with 612. Uh, 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 by the way, is your friend here a summoned beast, or what? Of course not. Paula's a teddy bear. She's filled with bits of fluff. Say, I'm surprised that the sutured limbs and cute squeaky sounds didn't give her away. The teddies don't move. Now that's due to my null magic program. It allows me to issue situational commands to inanimate objects. For instance, initiate program. Movement. Forward on condition. Whenever you are sat upon. End program. <sighs> I forgot to specify a distance. But you understand. If I give an object a command, then it will do as instructed. Okay, but, like, what if you commanded Paula to fly? Would that make her able to? The spell isn't quite powerful enough to allow that level of freedom. And the object's form matters. Paula can do far more than a chair. But if I wanted to make a toy fly, I'd be better off programming a model bird. Hmm. Would you mind if I tried it out a bit? Huh? Initiate program. Movement. Backwards for two meters. On condition. Excuse me, how did you just do that? Use your spell? I said the words. That is a truly spectacular talent you have. Aside from null magic, which elements can you use? All of them, believe it or not. Sure, it makes sense to me. You know what? Fine. Let's do it. You will be my new apprentice. Huh? <laughs> Such a reaction. Relax, I'll not turn you into a stuffed bear for uh... refusing. That said, if you should change your mind... Sorry, ma'am! I am so out of here! Gone, but not forgotten. Hey, Master, are you as tired as you look right now? Yeah, I'm beat. A lot happened today. <laughs> Wait a second. What if I used program to make it? Hmm? Toya, are you heading out? Yeah, what's up? We just finished eating breakfast, so we were thinking about taking a stroll through the garden. I'm glad you're getting along. Seen Yae or Elise? They're both at a joint training session with some of Miss... It sounds like them. Anyway, what were you planning for the day? <laughs> Just a bit of light shopping. You look so cute. Not as That's cute not as what you I had in mind. So much fun. <laughs> Come forth, water. Blade both cold and clear. Aqua cutter! Will those pieces be small enough? Yeah. Takes a bunch, Lens. What are you planning to make with them? Something way better than a sword if all goes well. Does that mean you're inventing it? Modeling. <laughs> well, 
So far, so good. Now let's see about bullets. Modeling. <laughs> Enchant. A port. Begin programming. Three-step sequence. Begin whenever user says reload. On this condition, expel empty cartridges at high speed. Then use up ports to take bullets of the same type from the user's person. Then place them into the cylinder. End programming. Oh, I bet it needs rifling. Modeling. says gun mode or blade mode. On the former condition, use modeling to transform the blade from a dagger to a longsword. On the latter condition, transform it back into a dagger. End program. Blade mode, go! Now, gun mode! You can use that up close or at range. Well, after that fight with King Jamaka, I thought I should prepare for situations where I can't use all my spells. You know what? A weapon like that needs a name. Yeah, I agree. What about Brunhild? The show ends when she sings. That took a little longer than I thought it would. Please tell me that you're as hungry as I am. Wanna find somewhere to grab a quick bite? If you think there's time, I've heard great things about Miss Mead's traditional cuisine. I have too. Apparently they're famous for a dish called curry. I think it's served at that restaurant. Well, let's go. Master, someone's watching us. I can sense them. Okay, I think I'll say hello. Do you know where they are? Look to the right. They're up towards the top of the highest building. You two go on ahead. I'll join you in a sec. What? You'll meet us there? Yep. You can order for me, okay? You protect me, Kohaku. Good hunting. Accept. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so, uh, you can understand me, right? Mind telling me who you are? Excel and boost. Sorry about that, but they're just rubber bullets. You should be fine. So, we ready to talk yet? I'd like to know why you're watching us. Make sure you're unarmed, at least. <laughs> that was unexpected. Uh, wait, Lapis? We're with Espion, a spy network that answers directly to His Majesty, King Tristwin. You're working for the King? Yes. Our current mission is to ensure the safety of Princess Yumina. So you've been protecting Yumina from the shadows all this time, then? Exactly. That might explain it. Is this your knife? Yeah, that was Cecile. As I guess you saw, she's a master knife thrower. <laughs> That's nice of you, but I wouldn't call myself a master. So you've been tailing us since we first left Belfast? And was my butler in on this as well? Oh, definitely. Fair enough. So where do we go from here? Our mission's the same. We'd like to continue guarding the princess surreptitiously. But that can only happen if you're willing to keep this secret from her. Would it be all that bad if she found out? It would. 
It can't happen. If she finds out that he's in her secret bodyguard, she'll be furious. The truth can never get out. Guess not. <laughs> what did I miss? Not much. You got here right after the food. We ordered you a pork cutlet curry. It looks good. Apparently, curry is what they call the sauce that's poured over the food. So, this is literally just curry. Bicycles. They're kind of like mechanical horses. Ah, I think I see. Anything I can do for you? For once? No. I just wanted to thank you again for your help with Miss Mead. But this bicycle of you... Uh, well, I'm still figuring it out. So I'd guess at least 30 minutes? I can wait. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to help your grace. This is my mount! And by God, I shall break it. I'd rather you didn't. I shall not be bested by this bike. Is that my uncle? It sure is. What's he writing? Not sure, but he's bad at it. Ow! This is actually kind of hard. I believe it's my turn now. Okay, now start pedaling. Yeah. It'll take time. What do you think, Toya? How am I doing? I can run around the whole garden now. <laughs> Way to go, 
know, Yumina. You're a fast learner. I just wasn't focusing, you know? It really isn't all that hard. <laughs> oh. Let me try a little down. longer, will ya? Yeah. Let me get down. Hey, you caught up. These things are surprisingly easy to ride, don't you think? Way to go, Elise! I knew you'd catch on. You're a natural athlete. They both got really good all of a sudden. I'm not sure if I should say that this is thanks to you, or that this is your fault. Huh? Wait, I see what those two are doing! Hurry up and get back here, Elise! It was meant to be my turn ten minutes ago! Ladies, it would appear that I have taken the lead! <laughs> Duke's certainly having fun. <laughs> to ask a favor after all, Toyo. Could you make a small bike for sushi? Oh, I'll pay you for the materials, of course. <laughs> no problem. We'll get right on it. <laughs> but if you're busy working, then how will you see my new biking skills? That definitely explains where Sue got her intense personality from. Keep walking. Or else... Stupid rat! Damn guards are breathing down our necks now, thanks to you. We told you what would happen if we caught you working our turf again. Here again, okay? Too late for that, kiddo. That's enough. This is a private party, so butt the hell out. If it takes two of you and a knife to beat one kid, then I'm really not intimidated. Damn, fellas. So much for honor among thieves. You don't know squat about us! Sure I do. I know that you can't outrun a bullet. That's a good start. Shame they're just rubbing. <laughs> you all right? <sighs> Bye then. Hey, wait! Uh. I just wanted to say thanks for helping me. You're lucky I overheard what was going on in time. If you keep on stealing, you might not... Uh. Did you miss lunch? Yeah, for about three days. <laughs> Tell you what, let me know what's good here and I'll buy you some. You got a deal! <laughs> I didn't realize you were a girl. Most people don't. Hi, my name is Renee. So what, do you live around here, Renee? I stay here sometimes, but there's a pretty cozy alley on the other side of town that I... My dad's gone. He went to hunt a magic beast around a year ago, and nobody's seen him since. And my mama, she died just a little bit after I was born. I'm sorry. <laughs> Renee, would you like to come work for me? never have to worry about food or a place to sleep. Now, you would have to do proper work there, but I'd pay you for it. So, what do you say? You'd really let me work for you? At your house? On the condition that you give me your word you'll never go back to stealing. That sound fair? Yeah! I... I won't let you down! <laughs> hey, you clean up good, kid. From this day forward, you shall work as a servant of this household. Whenever guests are present, be sure to address Toya as Sir, understand? Yep, I gotcha! Hi, I'm Cecile. Come along with me and I'll get you started. I'm off to work, sir. See you around! Get to it then. Have a good time. Thanks! Such an unusual girl. Toya? Hmm? Where are the bicycle materials? Uh. I totally forgot. So this is Miss Me? I love it! <laughs> it was very kind of you to do this. I know how badly Sue wanted to come here. Well, thanks to Gate, it's really no trouble. Huh? Well, yeah, let's go home real quick and grab a new bicycle, okay? I want to ride it through town as fast as I can! That's how you cause accidents. Hey, look! 
I think I see Arma there. Huh? What's up, Arma? Uh, hi, Toya. Hey, how you been? Good. I didn't know you two were visiting Miss Mead. We're taking my cousin out shopping. Oh, I was shopping as well. Oh, right. Sue, this is our friend Arma. And Arma, this is Sushi. It's a pleasure to meet you, Sushi. Hi! Your ears are super cute. Can I say that? Well, What's the matter? See something? Yeah, look. Olga's here? Looks to me like she's on a date. So it would seem. So let's follow her. Wait, we shouldn't impose. That's why we'll be sneaky. Wait for me! Uh, Sue, wait! Ah! So at this point, there is no one left except the tortoise and the hare. <laughs> Do you know what they were doing? No, but I'd like to. That is so adorable. Why does that guy look so awkward? He wants to hold her hand, but he isn't sure if that would be too forward of him. If he really wants to hold her hand, he should just go for it. Here, here. It's a simple way of showing affection. Men shouldn't be so afraid of it. Don't you agree? Uh, I, for one, think it's a complicated issue. Uh, look, they're going inside. Ah. They're partial to bananas, you see. Yeah. We can't follow them in without risking exposure. Say, Toya, can't you help us out somehow? Well, I have an idea that might do the trick, but I don't really want to invade their privacy more. This is my sister we're talking about, and it could be a big part of her life. Forget her privacy. I need to know how this date's going. Long sense. <laughs> I must, but once the alliance is formal, I plan to visit Miss Mead as often as possible, or as much as my friends here would like my company. <laughs> I, for one, quite... I can tell. I think those two have excellent chemistry, don't you? It's so cute! I need to start going on dates myself one of these days! You're much too young to think of such things. Even I haven't been on a proper date yet, and I'm already engaged. <laughs> well, if neither of us have been on a date and both of us want to, let's just go on one together. Sorry, cousin, I don't think that would count. Uh, well, kind of heavy. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me. My apologies, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. I didn't see you. Parma, are you okay? I see now. It seems Olga's taken a liking to this Sir Leon. Hope the boy's up for the task. She's quite a woman. You'll certainly try. By the way, why are you running around wearing a hood? I sometimes visit the town in secret to clear my mind. I bet your ministers are going to be furious with you. Then the flower bloomed in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pathetic. When a man sought a woman's heart in my day, he was bold about it. <laughs> Leave him. Go! All of you should be ashamed of yourselves, ganging up four on one. He's so gallant. That timid manner he had with Olga just disappeared. <laughs> Cocky bastard. Step up then. Oh, no, let's go. But if we go out there, they'll know we were... <laughs> Wait, who the hell are you? Someone inspired by this brave young man. You don't think we went overboard, do you? Of course not. They had it coming. Um, pardon? That is Toya, isn't it? Huh? Sorry, you're the only person I've ever seen wear a coat like that. Plus, there's your voice. Oh, shoot. Leon, you won! You're not hurt, are you? <laughs> King Jamaka? Excel! Coward! Wait, I can do that! Why don't you stay a while? Have a little chat with us. Then let's chat about why you haven't made a move on Olga. It's almost as if you aren't that serious about her. Oh, I'm very serious about her! But it's hard! So you earnestly want to date her, is that what you're trying to say? Of course I do! Leon, I... 
I feel the same way. So, does that mean you'll be my girlfriend? I think so. Uh, Yahoo! Congratulations, Claire! Oh, what are you doing here? They're together now. Oh, thanks to us. What's, What's going, going on? on? Why, Why are we hiding, hiding in, in the, the woods? woods? <laughs> <laughs> Although you did have another guest arrive. Who is it? Paula? That's crazy. You didn't walk here from Miss Me by yourself, did you? Sharp as ever, aren't you? No, Toya. She naturally made the trip with me. Hey, Lean. What's going on? I see you found where I live. Charlotte assisted me in that. She seemed rather sure that you wouldn't mind. What's going on? Is this woman someone you know? Oh, yeah. Don't suppose you would have met her yet. This is the elder of the fairy folk back in Mismead. She just goes by Lean. Despite her looks, she's actually way old. Fairy folk? But wait. Oh, that? I'm concealing my wings with light magic is all. They attract more attention than I like. Goodness, I can understand why. Anyway, what brings you here? I heard a rumor about you. Another one of your exploits. If you truly defeated a crystalline beast a few months ago, then I'll have questions for you. Huh? Hey, what's with our dinner guest? Yumina says she's a fairy. That creepy looking witch girl? There's no way the fairy folk are supposed to be cute, remember? Uh, uh, um. <laughs> so, Lean, what do you know about these things? A runner came to the palace from Lorette. That's a smaller village in western Mismi. They claim to have discovered a crack in the sky just a few days ago. The sky cracked? It piqued my interest as well. Enough for me to assemble a platoon of soldiers and investigate. However... <laughs> then, just as I was starting to research the creature, I was surprised to hear that you had managed to defeat one. So, of course, I went and asked Charlotte about it, and she told me that you could- Blabbed! I'm sorry, Toya, but I can't go against my teacher! Your what now? Charlotte counts herself very fortunate to be my apprentice. I did have to punish her for keeping secrets once, but she learned. That's right. It was a good lesson. <laughs> Here's a sketch of the magic beast of Lorette. Apparently, it squirmed out of that crack in the sky. It has a completely different shape than the one we destroyed. Any clue what these things are? Just one. Legend claims that long ago the world was all but destroyed by demons. Ancient texts refer to them as frays. They're said to have red eyes and translucent bodies. So does that mean you believe that these crystal things are frays? That I cannot say. Well then, sitting around pondering won't get us anywhere fast. A fair point. By the way, Toya, I'm moving to Belfast soon. I have been appointed the ambassador of Miss Me. <gasps> Needless to say, I'll be visiting often. Oh, and one more thing. I've been told that you're proficient with gate. Yeah, but the catch is I can only go to places I've been to before. There's another null spell called Recollect. It allows the user to read someone else's mind. Use it in conjunction with gate, and you can jump to places from the memories you see. Whoa, that sounds amazing. There's a distant place I need to reach quickly. Guess that depends on where you want to go. East. As far east as one can get. The land of Eshin. Eshin? But... There's an ancient ruin in that nation that I'd like to investigate. Do you think it has something to do with the phrase? No, it's nothing like that. I've always just wanted to see it. Wait, that's it? My master cares for nothing so much as indulging her own curiosity. Mm. Uh, that was just a joke, okay? Anyway... This one's from Ishin, right? If you were to read her mind, then we could be there in five minutes' time. Hey, don't I get a say in this? My mind is extremely private. Reading it is not an option. No need to worry, dear. Recollect is only capable of showing memories you wish to share. Yeah, but even so. The spell also requires physical contact between caster and subject. I hear that the ideal form of contact is a kiss. Huh? What a kiss? I'm only teasing you. Uh Yes, good. Stand here, facing each other, and clasp hands like so. Uh. <clears throat> Perfect. Now practice. 
press your foreheads together. You should start picturing the sights of Ishin now, Yai. Now, Toya, cast the spell. Reco does have a king, but in practice the lords are essentially free to govern their own regions as they see fit. You don't say. And which lord controls Oedo? His name's Tokugawa Ieyasu. Ieyasu? It's like God got lazy and just copy-pasted Japan here. Is something wrong, Toya? Nah, I'm good. Oh wow, look at that! <laughs> what are those men doing? Those are Kaguya, and that thing they're carrying is called a palanquin. They get paid to take people around in it. Huh? Huh. Toya, look! Those poor men! Their shoes are made of wood! What was the name? Oh, get us shoes! That's correct. You're rather well-versed in Asian culture for a foreigner. Uh, yeah? Thank you. I must say, something doesn't feel right. Definitely safe. Thank you, that's good to know. We need to help them right now! Don't be a fool. Even if you made it past that army, the fortress gates are closed. Then how can... Wait, couldn't you fly right over them using those wings of yours, Lane? I could have once, but they're weak from lack of use. These days, I can barely even hover. So what do we do? Here's a plan. I'll use long sense to find safe spots between here and there, then jump in with gate till I reach the fort. That would be safer than the direct approach. I need to be sneaky about this. So for now, I'll go in alone. Once I've gotten in, though, I'll jump straight back here. That's a decent plan. I'm pleasantly surprised, Toya. Thanks. Be back soon. Yo 
Don't turn up that cup. They'll breach the walls by night. What dark magic is this that staves off death? I've heard rumors that they die when their masks are broken, but I can't confirm it. <laughs> How do you get in? Magic! Please don't stab me, I'm on your side. You're Kokonoe Jutaro, right? You have a sister named Yae who's been training out west? That's right, my name is Jutaro. But how do you know my sister? I'm actually a good friend of hers. My name is Mochizuki Toya. You're a friend of hers? Yeah, and she asked me to try and give you guys a hand here. Want me to grab her real quick? So Yae's back in Ishin. You can bring her? Yeah, one sec. Gate! Brother! Yai? Is that actually you? Yes! Wait, who are all of these people? These are my companions from the West. They've each stood beside me in many a battle. But more importantly, is Father safe? He hasn't been hurt, right? No. The old man's healthy as ever. He's here in the fort, standing with Lord Ieyasu's guard. I'm relieved to hear that. BK is selected on the phone's map. On this condition, set all as spell targets using multiple. End program. Come forth, Light. Give your soothing comfort. Your healing! What the? I don't hurt anymore. It's like I'm good as new. Yai, any idea what happened? My friend Toya used a healing spell. I see. By the way, do you know what's going on with those Oni mask guys outside? No, I don't. By all rights, most of them should have already fallen. I'm told that those masks might be their sole weakness. Perhaps they're magic artifacts. <laughs> Say what? You know, objects of power. Lost relics from ancient civilizations. That thing you're holding is an artifact, right? <laughs> anyway, I got a pretty zombie-ish vibe from those guys, which should mean that I have a way to take them all out. You don't mean single-handedly. Sure I do. Whew. There are quite a few of these guys. Oh well. Okay, multiple. What are those? Toya, how are you? Strike true, O Light. Sparkling holy lance. Shining javelin! <laughs> You're doing? Yeah. Who saw that coming? Only all of us that know him. As impressive as always, Toya. Thank you. Thank you. The name's Mochizuki Toya. <laughs> you're too kind, you really. First off, please allow me to express my gratitude for your assistance today. I'm Tokugawa Ieyasu, leader of the Tokugawa clan. Oh, we were happy to lend our aid, sir. My daughter. A princess's personal guard. This is quite a surprise. I told you I was training hard. Which of you cast the spell? The one that saved our fortress in the blink of an eye. Uh -uh. That would be Toya. Mochizuki Toya is his full name. He guards me as well. But also, we're engaged to be married soon. Huh? Oh. Uh, hold on. We're not. Uh, oh, I guess it's kind of in the air. Things are complicated. <laughs> <coughs> Moving on, about Takeda. Do you think they'll back down after today? No, if I had to see between those undying soldiers and the suddenness of this invasion, I'm forced to believe that the rumors are true. Rumors? That the head of the Takeda clan Shengen is dead. That his name is being used by the dark mage Yamamoto Kansuke, who commands an army of the dead. That requires lots of power. My guess is that he's using a strong magic artifact. So what if we captured this Yamamoto Kansuke guy? Think things would settle down? I think so. But he's likely holed up in some fortress of his own, and we've yet to determine which one. I know where he is. Allow me to show you. Who's there? I come with a message for Lord Tokugawa Ieyasu. 
I'm Tsubaki, sent by Kosaka Masanobu. He, of course, is one of the four great generals of the Takeda clan. You're with Kosaka? Yes. This letter confirms our suspicions. And what else? It seems that every Takeda general aside from Kosaka has been thrown into a dungeon. He asks that we stop Konsuke and save what's left of his clan. He's with Konsuke now, obeying him yet striving against him. Going to the Takeda. But if things continue like this, we'll be done for as well. Hmm. Have anything to suggest, Toya? <laughs> we can help you deal with this guy. I thank you. Do you plan to waltz into the enemy's camp by yourselves? Uh, probably, but even though I have gayed, it'd be a pain to get noticed too early. Kayleen, you said you used light magic to make the wounds on your back invisible, right? Do you think you could, uh... But of course! I can make the whole body unseen if needed. Sweet. That said, it's probably a bad idea to sneak in there as a big group. Let's keep it small. Me, Lean, and Subaki. Paula's gonna have to stay. That all right, Lean? Yes. I'll come back, Paula. Cool. Let's get to it. Hold on a second. Uh, You're planning to sneak around in broad daylight? Yeah, maybe not. Well, in that case, I'd like to return home for a time. I need to let Mother know that everyone's okay. On a similar note, if we aren't going home tonight, I think we should tell Liam. Mm. These men have been under siege for days. They need food as quickly as possible. <laughs> you make excellent points, all of you. All the undeserved power in the world won't make you any wiser. I find it endearing you know that. Well then, I'll go ready some horses for you. Subaki, can you picture Konsuke's hideout in your mind? Yes, but why? Well, if you'd allow me to read your thoughts, I could get us all there a lot faster. Then by all means. us invisible now? It's technically more of a camouflage spell, but whatever. Come, Come forth, forth for me, light. Bend and distort. Invisible! You vanished! Weird that I could still see you, Lean. It's more convenient that way. <laughs> I can hear your voices at least. You two ready? Then gate! gate. The, what the? We're blocked out. It would seem our foe has erected a magical barrier. That's a thing? Konsuke is a capable mage. Wait a sec, could this barrier cancel your invisibility spell? We should be fine. The barrier's only meant to negate spells that target the premises. I can get inside the complex without raising any suspicion. Shall I destroy it for you? I'd rather you didn't. If the barrier were destroyed, it would put our foes- Been behind Subaki then. Long as this spell holds, we'll get away with it. Does that work for you, Lee? <laughs> How goes it? 
Nice day for a stroll, eh? Ah, I take it this means that my boredom's gonna come to an end soon, right? Young man, if you would. Right. <laughs> Many thanks. What are we planning from here? Step one is just getting you guys out of this dungeon. Step two is to find the guy who put you here and kick his butt. I like that plan. I'll have to come with you. I've been planning a little reunion over the past few days. You're welcome <laughs> to join us. Speaking of, do you know where he is? He's usually in the central quarter right now. I can't find him. That dumb barrier. Lean, what would we need to do to destroy it? Find the magic talisman and it's bound to... Hey, I saw a magic thing up there. We can pick up some weapons on the way. They'll be fighting after, am I right? Alec, all right. Destroy it and the barrier should shatter. Okay, everyone ready? Hey, look! What are those things? Twice in one day, Toya. I really don't want to teleport into a horde of those guys. Strike, Strike true light. light! Sparkling holy lance! Shining javelin! <laughs> that come from you? Well, yeah. Very impressive. I wonder if that could have taken out Konsuke as well. No, I only targeted the only mass soldiers. Ah, <laughs> uh, I suppose I have you four to thank for the sudden spaciousness of my camp. How did you pull it off? We didn't come here to chat, Konsuke! We came here to kill you! Oyakata, no! Oyakata? Papa called him Master, so that must be Takeda Shingen. You worthless snake! Release him or else! <laughs> Oyakata. At first cutting him down, it's quite the conundrum, isn't it? You vile bastard! <laughs> Stop, sir! I can't fight you! Well, Toya, what'll you do now? I can't bear it to see him like this! <clears throat> Even if he isn't in there, we can't! I knew that you fools would choose honor over logic when presented with this choice. Now flee like the dogs you... Not like I owe him anything. Well, I guess that works out. <laughs> I must admit, I didn't see that one coming. No matter, for you'll never beat me while I have this! He who possesses the gem of immortality can never be vanquished! I imagine that it's also what gave you the ability to make your masked soldiers undying. Precisely, my dear. This wondrous artifact gives me vast amounts of mana, an incredible oh. support for death! Uh, my gem! How did you... Such sticky fingers. Seems like the fastest way to end this. Ah, uh, well that's a problem. This would be a fine toy if it wasn't cursed to corrupt its owner's heart. I'm surprised you can tell. Oh, my gem! Give it back! An artifact of such power must be incredibly valuable. A shame that we'll have to destroy it. What? No, you can't! No. See, you're not the first to seek the Niriya ruins. Thing is, they're at the bottom of the ocean. Bottom? Also, I've been to an island that was supposed to be near them, and it was pretty far from here. That's no problem. We can just use Recalling Gate again, right? Huh? What's wrong? Don't you like doing it with old men? Uh, Baba! How can you touch him when you have me? Sorry, I'll try to stay longer next time. But until then... We're in your debt, and I'll not soon forget it. You're good. 
It was no trouble at all. Gate! Just because you're the king! 
Of course you won't, little brother. You'll lose because I'm stronger. <laughs> this is nothing! Well, those three are as energetic as ever. Here you go. So you're perfect the way you are. All right, about time I got to it. Oh, yeah! Uh Looks great. Very cute. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. After all, I did choose it with you in mind. Uh, uh, uh. Well, shall we go swim? Look for those ruins. I'll join you as soon as I finish. Very well, but come and get me as soon as you're ready. I'll be waiting for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, and same for the marriage. Uh, uh. <laughs> the engagement. I keep forgetting about that. Hello, Toya. Why the long face? What? Oh, it's nothing. Uh, does Paula plan to go swimming? I used my protection spell to keep her dry. We wouldn't want her to get moldy. Ah, uh, I guess I should use that too. That way I can bring it with me. Protection! <laughs> hey, Kohaku, I'm assuming that you aren't gonna swim. You do know that just because I'm feline doesn't mean I'm afraid of water. What's wrong? Hmm. That one girl isn't here. What girl do you mean? You know, the one whose chest you groped a few days ago. Oh yeah, Tsubaki! Wait, for the last time, that was you! But you wanted to see it, right? To see her in a swimsuit? There's nothing wrong with this. I'm a healthy young man. Curiosity is perfectly natural. You just imagined it. What? No, I didn't! You can't prove anything! It seems that you're a red-blooded man after all, Toya. You're one to talk, you big perv. Moving along, I think it's time for us to start making some props on your bride. We're scouting out those ruins. Oh. There's nothing for it but to swim, right? Yes, I'll be cheering you on from here. Uh, uh... I have no intention of swimming. I'd risk getting a sunburn. Then why bother putting on a swimsuit? You threatened me into it. Just what kind of freak show am I in your mind? able to find the entrance at least, but when I tried to get inside, I ran out of air. Who could have guessed that you would run out of air while underwater? All right, so how should we proceed? Are there any spells that let people breathe underwater? I've heard of a few, but I didn't care enough to memorize them. Maybe you should have before we came here. <laughs> oh, Charlotte, mm -hmm. come down here. Tell me, do you know of a spell that lets one function underwater? If I recall... It doesn't look like you recall. Honestly, it's a shame that your brain didn't mature with that body of yours. What are you doing, Master? You're wearing that suit for the rest of the day as punishment. And also, you're not permitted to return to the palace till I do. What? But you only asked me because you don't remember either, right? That girl is a tyrant. Master, <laughs> you wish to function underwater, do you? Yeah. Do you know of a good way to? I'm acquainted with an entity that has dominion over water. I believe that they could solve your problem quite easily. Who? Just as I was once known as the White Monarch, they are the Black. <laughs> Typically, the spell would be incapable of specifying what spirit it might summon. But if we infuse my spiritual energy with Master's magic, then he can call them wherever they might be, and they'll be too intrigued to ignore it. Watch and learn, fairy. Do as you will, but this seems a fool's errand. The Black Emperor is no force to be trifled with. I'm still astounded that you're the White Monarch. I'm surprised that you're so worried. It's not any crazier than you creating Paula. ...before they agree to forge a pact. So be careful, just in case. Wait a second. You keep saying they like there's a lot of them. Did I miss something? The Black Emperor is two beings in one. Don't worry, you'll understand once you meet them.
Black Emperor, you who rules not just water, but winter and the great northern mountains, I call upon you. Answer my summons and appear before me! It looks like they heard you. Hmm? Ooh, well if it isn't good old White. It's been too long. How you doing? It's good to see you, Black Emperor. Ah, uh, I told you just call me Black. I thought we were friends. Anyway, what are you doing with that human? This is my master. His name's Mochizuki Toya. Speaking of, you can call me Kohaku now. Your master? You took a mere human as your master? My, just how far have you fallen? Say what you will, old friend. Nonsense. <laughs> Very well. Toya, was it? I suppose we can test to see if you're worthy. Just to humor our friend. I'm down. What do you want from me? Meet us in battle. In the unlikely event that you remain standing with your limbs intact by sunset, you shall get your pact. Hmm. Sounds good. Want to start now? Toya, don't get careless and let them pull one over on you. Don't worry. I'll manage okay. You're surprisingly calm. At the very least, I commend your courage. Let us begin. Then slip. Enchant with slips. Initiate program. Begin as soon as the effect of slip starts to fade away. On this condition, cast slip. Terminate this cycle upon the caster's command. End of program. This is crazy. What is that boy doing to us? to continuously cast slip, saving yourself the trouble. How ruthlessly efficient. Ah! Reminds me of the time me and the girls had to fight some slimes. I guess we'll just wait for them to give up. Ah! Hey, don't slip! Ah! You can't help it me! It really seemed determined, huh? Ah! Yeah, ready! That means I need to give you new names? Yes. Please endow us with worthy names. Hmm. Okay, well, what do you guys think of Kokuyo and Sango? Kokuyo? Sango? You like them? I will gladly take the name Kokuyo as mine. From this day forth, I shall be known by all as Sango. As you've willed. Hold it, you two! You'll cause our master trouble if you lumber around in that form. Make yourselves smaller. Really? We need to make ourselves all tiny like a white ad like Kohaku here. We can do that. Watch! I didn't know you could fly. We can manage it when we're at this size, although we can't move all that fast now. <laughs> Kokuyo? Sango? Hi. I, Sango, shall prove to be very useful. I'll be just as useful as her, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so you need us to help you breathe while you're exploring underwater, is that right? Yeah. Can you do it? Yeah, piece of cake. Cool, let's do it now. I can't you. <laughs> I need to take a quick break. 
<sighs> yes, I agree. I can't keep you to myself any longer. Think I've earned enough envy as it is. Say what? <clears throat> oh. Go on. Play with your friends. Master, in that case, Sango, Kokuyu, and I have catching up to do. Okay. Have fun. It's about time that you joined us. Sorry about that. What were you two talking about? You know, the ruins. And nothing else, really? What, do you think I'm lying? <clears throat> Come on, where's the trust? Were you blown away by Lean and her swimsuit? Is that why you abandoned us for so long? Of course not, we were working. This begs the question. If not hers, then whose swimsuit do you think looks best? Huh? Oh yeah, let's hear it, Toya. Say what? How did we get to this point? <laughs> Zeus! Yep! Huh? Do you mean that? Am I too old? Uh -huh. Toya, that is not okay. No, I didn't mean it like that. I, I'm a normal, healthy guy. I like my own age group, my sweater. Listen, I... Uh... Is that... He never took our picture. Come to think of it, you haven't. This is too much for... Help them preserve the memory, okay? The memory, sure. I told you, it's not like that. It's okay, Toya. If you say it's not, I believe you. That said, I think you had better start making memories with us now. Sure, I'd love to. I know. Let's swim. Follow me. <laughs> hey, are you coming? We're right behind you. Hey, Toya, think fast. <laughs> <laughs> aren't going to explore themselves. I think I'd better go solo at first. If anything happens, come right back with Gate, okay? Sure. All right, guys, go for it. Just leave it to us! You'll be able to breathe fine now. Cool. Awesome. Not only can I breathe down here, I can walk normally. It's almost like I'm on land. We're able to bend water to our will with Bill Power. <laughs> Me too. Wonder what's making that light. Guess we're gonna find out. What is this thing? Try passing some magic through it. Excuse me, Master. Do you know where you've taken us? No. Uh, uh, who is that? Hmm? Ah! Greetings, Traveler. I am the terminal that controls this place, the Aerial Garden of Babylon. You may call me Francesca. Okay, but, uh... You have queries? Yeah. Listen, Jessica, I think I've got about a thousand questions. Do you mind? No, ask away. Well, first off, we aren't underwater still, are we? This is the Garden of Babylon. It floats in the sky. So we're in the sky now. Uh... Follow, if you please. We're there. Hey, so what's the purpose of this facility? Recreation. The professor was a hobbyist. Wait, what professor? The one who created all of this. Regina Babylon, my maker. Why not say mom? Master, I don't think that this person is a human being. I can't sense the flow of life within them. <laughs> I was designed by the professor to serve in this place as its control terminal. That occurred 5,092 years ago. <gasps> so what you're telling me is that you're a machine? That's not entirely accurate. I do have a few organic parts that were created by magic. 
So to speak more precisely, I'm an amalgamation, a being of machine and magic. That's incredible. You look just like a regular girl. I can't produce offspring, but I am capable of intercourse. Keep that down! I'm still in factory condition. That really isn't the issue. Well, if you should ever have a need, don't hesitate to ask. I'm having trouble understanding this one. Yeah, that makes two of us. I still can't believe that you're 5,000. So this goes for you, too. But if it's been that long, then wouldn't something have malfunctioned or gotten worn out? Everything that could have has been reinforced with magic. Basic garden maintenance is done automatically. And barring an emergency, I'm kept in standby mode. Yeah? Then why are you up now? This could be described as an emergency. The garden's very first guest has arrived. Speaking of which, what's your name? Oh, it's Toya. Or Mochizuki Toya. You have undergone compatibility assessment and been found adequate. As of this moment, unit number 23, codename Francesca, will be transferred to your command. Please take good care of her for the many years to come. How'd you assess me? Uh that magic circle can only be opened by someone who, like the professor, possessed every known magical affinity. That's crazy. So there was someone like me 5,000 years ago. The professor was determined to pass this on to someone, but she wanted to be sure that they were of a worthy sort, which is why she took these precautionary measures. That's how I passed the test? I... No, that's incorrect. Huh? The assessment took place once you arrived here. You passed it by telling me to cover myself when I approached you in my panty. What? Seriously? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard of! What's it rude? Surprisingly, quite a bit. Let's say you'd given in to your lust and attacked me. In that case, I would have taken you by the hand and tossed you back to the surface. Now, let's say you did nothing. By allowing me to remain in my panties for your viewing pleasure, you would have exposed yourself as unworthy in a different way. So I'd show you the gate. Huh, you don't say. I never would have imagined that your reasoning was that complicated. The good professor devised this method as a means of determining whether someone had not just the kindness but the sense of modesty that she would want in our new master. I mean, I get it, but that doesn't make it less weird. Look, I'll be honest, she sounds crazy. I can't refute that. So she is crazy? When the panty test was mandatory, she let us make the final determination ourselves. If I must have someone as my master, I'm willing to settle for a repressed pervert who feigns disinterest. You may steal a few lewd glances, but your lack of confidence means you're likely safer than whoever might come along next. I'm not a perv! My eyes slipped! And for the record, I am the most confident, okay? Seeing as the formalities are dealt with, I truly am in your possession now. I humbly ask the- Why do I feel like I just got myself into another giant mess? Oops! I dropped a pen! Let me just pick that up. I can catch it. <laughs> Are you okay, Sean? I'm terribly sorry. I'm fine, just a bit cold. Whoa, so that's where the little guy ran off to. Why would it crawl in there? I don't know, but it can't be normal. I didn't have any crab trouble, but I did get sand stuck in that area once or twice. Same story. Also, some shrimp and a small fish. Maybe our suits were squeezing too much. Made it so nothing could get through the gap. What are those two going on about? Things you and I'll never have to worry about. I don't get it either, but I approve. <laughs> Hello, Charlotte. Could have sworn you told me that you had urgent work to finish back at the castle. But that wasn't a lie, was it? My mistake. I guess I'd better leave now. <laughs> She's such a mess. Hey, it's been a while since Toya swam off. I'm starting to get worried, you know? Since he hasn't returned yet, I imagine nothing to find in these ruins. Nothing. They could be empty for all I know. Your information on this place was incredibly vague. Yeah, I'm starting to feel like you brought us out here on a whim. Well, it's been a good time so far, right? <laughs> Sorry for the wait. Now then, shall we? Yeah! What is this place? I thought this was supposed to be a ruin. I thought it was meant to be underwater, but that's definitely the sky. At any rate, it's beautiful. <gasps> this structure was once part of the ancient Parthenos civilization. I've never heard of them. What were they like? 
For one thing, they were terrifically advanced. We're still learning spells they made, and discovering magic artifacts they left behind. This garden, for example. By the way... Who's your new friend, Toya? Expanding the harem yet again, are we? Of course not! She's barely an acquaintance! <sighs> is that... so? Of course it is! If you've nothing to hide, why so desperate? I'm not hiding anything! Her name is Francesca. She's in charge of this garden, okay? Then am I to take it that you're the owner of this place? No. I am but a control terminal. Ownership of the Garden of Babylon has transferred to Toya, my master. And what do you mean by... <laughs> That is not true! I'm more like a boss or your proprietor! A proprietor? Odd choice of words. What's going on here, Toya? Spill it! Look, the point is, this is totally innocent! I showed Master Toya my panties before offering myself to him, body and soul. That's when he rose up to claim me as his own. Ah! Uh, put that in the worst way possible! Her panties? What exactly were you doing while we waited for you? Nothing! I'm innocent! I barely even saw them! Walk over here! Uh, yes, ma'am! Drop down! Right! First you barged in on us four while we were changing, and now this? Just how obsessed with panties are you? I'm not! It really was an accident that time, I swear! Which would imply that this time you looked by choice, right? That's not what I meant! It wasn't a choice! I couldn't help it! What is your problem? Seeing us in swimsuits at the beach all day wasn't enough for you? And don't you dare deny looking men! Yeah, well, uh, that was... Elisa and I got matching bikinis hoping you would think it was cute, but I guess that didn't cut it! Did you just tell all of us you were exploring ruins to keep us distracted? No, of course not. This seems like the right time to give in to your constant demands that I show you mine. Good. You just touch for a sec. Looking at me when we're talking? Yeah, sure. Good grief. You honestly look like you have no idea why Linz is angry with you. Huh? Let the poor boy off the hook, will you? You can hardly continue with these accusations when you've yet to make it clear where you stand with him now, can you? Uh, you need to be on equal footing with our little princess first, at the very least. Uh, yeah. The same goes for you two. <laughs> Oh, why would we be mad at Toyo? You don't like... Yeah, what she said. Uh, Let's take a walk. We can leave this business to Lean and Toya, okay? I don't know about you three, but I'd love to see more of this garden. Uh, walk? I know I should trust him, but I don't like the idea of leaving Toya with that girl again. There's nothing to worry about. Lean's still with them, remember? Having her there actually worries me more. I agree completely. That old fairy is every bit as devious as Toya is naive. Toya is naive, but that's part of what makes him so nice. All right, everyone. I think it's time the four of us had a follow-up. You all remember what I proposed to you on the day we moved into the mansion, do you not? <laughs> everyone at this table's in love with Toya, right? <laughs> I mean, he may have a certain charm, but that doesn't mean I'm falling in love with him. He's too goofy and unreliable and soft-hearted. How can I take him seriously? Although he is pretty different when he does get serious, and there's nothing wrong with being kind. No! No! No way! For someone that isn't in love with Toya, you spend a great deal of time looking at that dress he bought you. <coughs> and I'm not judging you, Linz, but I did see you follow him around the other day. <coughs> that wasn't what it looked like at first. I just happened to be going the same way, but then I got curious. It looked like it was heading in the general direction of a naughty shop, so I... As for you, I have done nothing of that sort. Of course you have. Whenever you get injured, you invariably ask Toya to heal you, even though Linz knows healing magic too. Well, I have nothing to say to that. I should tell you all that none of this bothers me in the least. In fact, this revelation was delightful. I know that when Toya goes into battle, he has three comrades who support and believe in him with all their hearts. You're a weird one. That should definitely bother you. Does it have to? Toya is the kind of man who only appears once in a thousand years, and he clearly cares about all of us. But one of the things that makes him so exceptional is his empathy. If he knew that picking one of us meant leaving the rest, that, that he'd rather grow old alone, and I don't plan to drive him to that. <sighs> so, um, I was wondering if you three would like to marry him as well. Huh? huh? Look, you can't just propose on Toya's behalf like that. 
the decision. We can shelve it while we let your feelings settle. Oh, Dad? Well, uh, you know, I certainly have been thinking about it. That I can't deny. So how about it? Do you feel like your feelings have settled yet? <laughs> Since we spoke, I imagine you've all become a great deal more conscious of Toya. Then, uh, yes, Yumina? Your heart is always racing when you're close to Toya, is it not? <laughs> Yeah, it is. Your eyes are always following him, Elise, and they're filled with admiration. I don't know if I'd call it... Oh, forget it. You're right. And Yai, I've noticed you getting a bit more nervous around him lately. Really? I thought I was hiding it well! The only person who wouldn't have noticed it is Toya. I don't think there's a reason in this world for us to let our love for Toya divide. Will you help me make Toya the happiest man in the world? Okay, I mean, I'd be lying if I said I never wondered what it would be like. It's a happy thought. It's a really happy thought. I know that it's still too soon to commit to this, especially since the only person who's proposed so far is you, but even so... Oh, no, I can't see it. It's too much. My heart isn't ready. I can't imagine anyone I would rather marry, although I would want to have the ceremony back in issue, of course. Oh, but you would look so handsome in a hagamon. <laughs> so I take it that you all still need some more time to decide? I love you, Darling! So, Lean, did this place end up having any of whatever it was you were looking for? Yes. Well, not exactly, since all I was hoping to find was an ancient spell scroll or two. But this is no disappointment. Yeah, it is pretty awesome. A garden that has flourished for 5,000 years without so much as a single flower wilting. It's incredible magic. The garden was created by Professor Regina Babylon. She must have been a genius to make it happen. Although she was also a pervert who forced her to die. Hey, Jessica, is there anything in this place aside from the garden? I'm sorry, Master, but unlike the other ones, this place is nothing but a lovely garden. You'll find no great treasure in here and nothing I would describe as a weapon. <sighs> Well, that's okay. This garden is a treasure in itself, if you ask me. I am relieved to hear that you enjoy it. I ask that you accept it as my dowry and me as your bride. You'll own me either way, but it would be nice to pretend I'm not a slave. Yeah, I don't really know what to say to that. Hey, Cheska, correct me if I'm wrong, but you just described this garden as unlike the others, did you not? Yes. There should be a number of facilities like this one flying around, each of them controlled and managed by another of my sisters. If they came together, you'd have Babylon. Whoa, seriously? So this professor, Regina Babylon, created not just you and this flying island, but numerous others with the intention that you be joined? Or was Babylon whole at first and then split into smaller islands later? Yes, it was split. This is way too out there for me. I can't wrap my head around it. If things like this were floating around in the sky, I suspect that it would make a commotion. Hey there, did you girls walk or go jogging? You look kind of flushed. What? No, we're not! Shut Things up! We're perfectly normal. You must be imagining it. Okay. There's that prevent it from being visible to the world below. The spells have been seen through, but quite rarely. Just how many of these floating islands are there? In addition to my garden, there's the tower, the workshop, the library, the castle walls, plus the alchemy ward, the warehouse, the granary, and the lab. So there were nine initially although I can't confirm that all are still operational. Mm. Personally, I'm drawn to this library you mentioned. I suppose it must be packed full of ancient spells and knowledge. That's a library of that professor, so there's a chance that it's just a mountainous porn collection. What's this porn you speak of? Oh God, it's nothing! Forget you ever heard that word, okay? Please? Uh, no problem, it's already gone! Can you not make contact with the other islands? At first I was able, but the connection between me and my sisters was severed somehow. Which means that there's no way at present for us to locate the other facilities out there. You're able to search for just about anything with your smartphone, aren't you, Toya? Oh, yeah, nice thinking, Lens. I'll give that a try right now. Uh, 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 cool. Now, search Babylon. <laughs> uh, it's probably blocked. 
these islands have been drifting around for that long. Do you think we're the first people to actually set foot in one of them? You're the third contact. The first decree. The second occurred 985 years ago at the granary. I see. It sounds like the only way to find the other Babylon sites is by locating their teleportation circles. Say, you wouldn't happen to know where those circles might be. Alas, I don't. Wait, so why did this island end up getting broken apart in the first place? Yeah, I don't know. The professor never told us. Maybe it was just to aggravate people. Say what? There's no way! <laughs> hey, Elise, your face is really red. You might have a cold. I got a lot of sun! Shut up! Sure, if you say so. So what's our next step? What happens to your friend? I guess it depends on what she wants. Hey, Jessica, what do you want? I would like to stay at your side, always and everywhere. To join you in the morning and in bed, as well as in the bathtub before bed. And here I thought you may not was being due forward. I'm pretty sure she's just saying this stuff to weird us out. <sighs> I'm starting to think the right answer is to just walk away and pretend this never happened. <laughs> Hold on, wouldn't it cause a meltdown or something if you left this place? Or don't you have to stay close by in case there's a disaster? If there were any trouble, I would be instantly alerted to it. Plus, I have the power to teleport here at will. And the garden's maintenance has been on auto for centuries. Oh, it's... By the way, there's actually one last thing we need to do to complete your registration. Oh, yeah? Well, what is it? If you'll pardon me for a moment. complete. Your genetic information has been recorded. Ownership of the garden has now been fully transferred to Mochizuki Toya. What was that? What's wrong with you? You can't just grab his face and then take whatever you want. I haven't even done that to him yet. You stole it from me. How could you? I simply employed the most efficient method of taking a genetic sample from him. I'm incapable of pregnancy, but I assume the other method still would have come with its various problems. you to know it, okay? So, what's up? Toya? Yeah? Do you know why I'm angry? Because I was waiting for a kiss right at the front of the line, but you let those two sneak their way in front of me. That's why. Obviously! So, then you're not upset about Lindsay's sudden confession? There was nothing sudden about that confession, Toya. It's plain as day that she's in love with you. Was it really? My bad. I honestly had no idea. It doesn't matter. So long as I'm one of them, I don't care if you take ten wives or even twenty when you finally marry. I'd consider it proof of your masculinity. However, how ever, you've been far too careless letting others kiss you all willy-nilly. You haven't even kissed me! So keep your guard up. You need to take a thorough look at your defenses and get them up to shape! Wait, but you mean that the thing is... Don't make excuses. Okay. <sighs> Give me a hug and a kiss now, and all will be forgiven. Uh, I think you're setting the difficulty level a little high here. me if I'm wrong, but I'm the first one you kissed yourself, right? Huh? Oh, well, yeah, I guess you are. Now be honest with me. How do you feel about Linz? Honestly? I think she's really cute. When she told me how she felt, I was excited. But I haven't even figured things out with you yet, so adding her to the mix... Toya, do you like her or not? Yeah, I like her a lot. I think she's amazing. Well, Linz, you heard him. Come on out. Huh? What the? How? What's going on here? 
I asked Lean to cast an invisibility spell on her so we could do this. Okay, but how did you get in the room? Oh, I guess she walked in behind Yumina. Mm -hmm. You forced us to do this. Uh, it was very rude of you to shut yourself in your room without giving her an answer. I know, but... She was crying, you know. No matter what I said, she was convinced you hated her. Uh, I'm sorry, Liz. I'm sorry, too. I should have been more considerate of your feelings. No way. Don't worry. Like I said earlier, I was happy after what you did. I mean, you're really cute. Toya. So now that you've both confirmed your feelings for each other, why not make this formal and call it an engagement? <coughs> this may seem strange to you, but it's perfectly common for more than one person to get married in Belfast. And I'm willing to share as long as you are. <laughs> yes, I am. I would like to get married to you, Toya. May I? Yeah, this is all kind of sudden is the thing. Say yes, won't you please? All right, sure. If both of you are okay with it, then so am I. Thank you. I'm so happy. <laughs> We're in the same spot, Liz. Both of us are Toya's fiancés now. Yeah. Anyway, it's lit. I think you two should get back to your rooms. Sure, but first I'd like a good night kiss. Huh? Um, I'd like one too. Okay, cool if I just kiss your foreheads. <laughs> I can settle for that. Good night, darling. Good night, sweetheart. Good night. Sleep well. <sighs> what the heck am I supposed to do now? <laughs> I didn't wake you up, did I, Toya? Yes? Right. So, uh, next time won't you knock? Uh, never mind, forget I said anything. Guy? What are you doing out here? Waiting for Elise to bring you. We hear you'll be taking Linz as your wife. Uh, yeah. Looks like it. I didn't realize how close you two were. Do you actually love her? Well, I wouldn't quite describe it as love just yet, but I care about her as more than a friend, I think. And she accepted that answer? Yeah. Linz is super timid. Except when it comes to what counts, apparently. She really is my total opposite. I still can't believe how bold she got. You and I are quite alike in regards to this. Without an inciting event to trigger my emotions, I can never make up my mind. What are you... <laughs> Toya, we want you to fight us. If you win, that'll be the end of it. Huh? But on the other hand, in the event that we beat you, well then, we'll have a request for you and you'll have to hear us out, then answer it. I'll dull the edge of the sword so it won't cut. But it's still heavy enough to break your bust the question now. Take the edge off your gun blade with modeling, okay? Also, no offensive magic. In exchange, I'll fight without my boost spell. Look, I'm not agreeing to any of this until I know why you want me to fight you. People like Elise and I need something more visceral to help clear our minds. Now square up, Bucko, because we're coming for you. Why is this happening to me? It's now or never. Fine modeling. Cool if I use rubber bullets? Uh-huh. So, are you ready to do this? Yeah. that Yumina and Linz have? Then are you trying to say... Yes, it's what you think. We would... We would like to become your wives as well if you'd have us, that is. No, you have 
to. You lost the fight, didn't you? You put yourselves through all this just to say that. I figured it was the best way to get their courage up. Yumina? Wait, are you saying this was your idea? Yes, I am. I proposed quite some time ago that all of us should marry you. We hammered out all the details well in advance. Wow, that's impressive and frightening. So, Satoya? What about you? Hey, did you hear me? If you have any feelings for me and Yai, now's the time to say so. Well, I like both of you a lot, of course. The thing is, I'm really sorry. But can I ask all of you for some time? I need to sort out my thoughts before I decide. Yes, of course. We don't want to force this on you too suddenly. Thanks, Yumina. So this is where you've been. Hey, Chess. What about it do you need to debate? I mean, they think I can make them all happy, but what if they're wrong? I'm scared that they'll all end up dissatisfied. I assume you mean while in the bedroom. But what got you that idea? I'm just wondering if I can do my duty as a husband. Oh, speaking of duties failed, there was something I forgot to tell you yesterday. Is there a treasure here after all? Someone left a message for you, Master. Yeah? Who? Professor Regina ba Babylon. The Professor? Professor who built this place. Uh, uh, Jessica? What you doing? No idea. The professor said that if I handed this to my new master, he'd know what to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, it worked! I see a person. Yes, that would be the professor. Hey there, I'm Professor Regina Babylon. Pleasure to meet you, Mojizuki Toya. Hold on, you know my name? What kind of- Say no more. That's an excellent question, Toya. It's only natural that you would wonder about such things. And I have the answer right here with me, of course. Take a good long look. This is my- I was kidding around. Just having a bit of fun. Try not to let it get to you. Yeah, you are exactly the person I thought you were. Uh, uh what's this? Taking a look at my aroma pipe, eh? <laughs> as I'm sure you've noticed, it's the same color as my underwear. How does that make you feel, Frisky? Hold on now, I'll answer your real question. I just needed to get that out of my system, okay? One more panty joke and I am pulling this cord for real. Hmm. Your question about how someone from the past knows so much about you? It's because I have a tool that lets me see into the future. Seriously? Yes, though I can't choose the era. That device is what's allowing me to record this mock conversation for you. It's showing me how you'll react to my words so I can respond. I've been following the adventures of you and the girls for quite a while now. Very entertaining. You mean you've been watching us this whole time? No, I was blinded at one point. The future had been rendered unstable, you see. Unstable? Yeah, know what caused it? The sudden appearance of the phrase in our world. The phrase? I couldn't predict when they'd appear. So, despite my very best efforts, those monsters brought the Parthenos civilization to its end. Wait, are you saying that the phrase's appearance caused some kind of interruption in the flow of time between our eras? I wasn't seeing a future because the world had been destroyed. Or was going to be, I should say. So what ended up saving? Nothing. The phrase disappeared every bit as suddenly as they'd arrived. I've no idea why. And thanks to that, you can now see into the future again. Uh-huh, and I've jumped right back into my favorite drama. Your current ordeal with the ladies has been especially fun to watch. Would you mind not peeping in on my private life? Come now, what's it hurt? I'm entrusting you with Babylon in exchange. I think that's a fairly good deal, don't you? Call it a thank you gift. Enjoy it. Huh? Listen, you can't just... Hey, can I ask you one more question? Mm -hmm. You told me that you were enjoying watching my current situation. Is that partly because you know how this is going to end for us? You want me to tell you how it shakes out with those four? I couldn't possibly. That would ruin the fun. It's the most important question I could ask you. Stop overthinking it, Toya. Since when were you the type to agonize over the future? Huh. I fear that this concludes our little chat. Fair warning, as soon as this message finishes playing, Francesca will be naked. <laughs> I'm joking. Later, kiss. Do I strip now? No, ma'am, absolutely not! Oh, that's more than I can handle. So she seemed to be a rather high spirit. Oh, hi! 
Toya. If you'd called, I would have made more snacks. It's been a while, God. How are you? Honestly, I'm surprised that this worked. Oh, yeah. I imagine your gate could work in any realm that has magic. So, what do you need? No matter how much I think, I can't figure out if this is the right thing to do. Oh, I'm a bachelor myself, so frankly, what do I know? But I feel like you're overthinking this. Yeah, you're not the first person to suggest that to me. But I can't stop mulling it over. Hmm. In that case, why don't I call in an expert for you? Huh? Hey, how you been? Good, good. Say, could you stop by for a bit? Great. See you soon. Sorry for keeping you. What? No, no, that was lightning fast. <laughs> Sorry, Toya. I can hear my heart pound, ready to burst. So, uh, who might this be? It's the goddess of love. Who better to advise you, right? It's nice to finally meet you. I've been curious about your situation for a while. Three people spying on me. I gotta ask, what exactly does being a goddess of love entail? A lot of mood setting. Like, I would never directly influence someone's emotions, but I do like to set up a good cliché. And that takes work, mind you. Clichés? Do you know what I mean? Check it! When a guy swears he'll marry his love after the war, I'll just make him die tragically right on our doorstep. So that's your fault? Anyway, what do you need help with? Well, you see... That certainly is a fascinating situation. Although I don't really understand what the problem is. If they're all in love, then what's the issue? For one thing, there are four of them. Forget about what was common sense in your original world, okay? Those girls love you. If you love them back and want to make them happy, then focus on that. Well, I want to, but I don't know if I have what it takes to do that for four people. While it's plenty important to cherish your partners, you still have to balance that with being true to yourself saying it's okay to be selfish sometimes. Well, yeah, of course. How can the people you love be happy if you aren't happy with them? You figure out what to do yet? I'm not sure, but I think I'm getting close. Great, you can get off my cloud. Before you go, what did you think of that great cliche I hit you with? Well, what are you talking That whole happened to walk in on them changing clothes in the washroom scene. Did you like it? What? That was you? The hell is your problem? I'm scared, I'm frail, but I'm warm enough. Uncle Haku? What's the matter, Master? Sorry. Could you ask the girls to meet me? So, uh... Look, first off, I won't be getting married. What? What changed your mind, Toya? Yes, tell us! If we did something wrong, then give us a chance to make it up to you. You promised, Toya! You said we'd marry! Oh, it's not that, Dad. I'm just talking about right now. I really need to give this time, that's all. You need time? So you do want to marry us eventually then, right? I do. So long as none of you are against it, I'll marry all four of you. That's a promise, and I plan to keep it. But it could be years. I'm not going to marry someone now just to be agreeable when I know I'm not ready for it yet. What do you mean by that? I'm not mature enough to be responsible for someone else's life. I have no plans for my future, so I'm asking you to wait. <sighs> and if you lose interest in me while you're waiting, I won't blame you. Well played. You say that knowing it's impossible. I see where that saying comes from now. Whoever falls in love first really does lose. Even if my sister were to lose interest, I'll wait for you as long as I have to. Whoa there! I never said I wasn't gonna wait for him. <laughs> I'm okay with this course as well, seeing as we've all expressed our feelings now. All that's left is to wait and watch them grow. That sounds nice. Now that we've all become Toya's fiancés, why don't we celebrate? We can mark the occasion by having our husband kiss us each in turn. Huh? I mean, that's all well and good in theory, but isn't it too soon? Yes, it's my opinion that even if we're engaged now, we should continue to have modest relations. And what if I told you that Toya kissed me just yesterday? Huh? Huh, full disclosure, he uh. kissed me as well. Yeah, just on the forehead, though. Uh. <laughs> then you better do it with us, too, just in the interest of fairness. 
Not because we want to kiss. I want to. I would really like to kiss. It's true. Well, since you asked. Enjoy the- <gasps> Please let me stay here, Master! I did all of my choices! 